sometimes I get to you and no one delivers any of the feelings that you do. I've saved my life waiting for the dreams to all come true. And I saw that you are everything I need to get for free. And now my mic's plugged in. My mic's plugged in and we're ready to fuck. Ready to get down and dirty with these goddamn cartoons. Of course, of course my mic was muted. Hey, enjoy your Zoa, Sir Redwall. Enjoy your Zoa, Everlando. Enjoy your Zoa, everybody who is here watching tonight. God knows. God knows it ain't Thursday without you. Woo! Hey there, everybody. How is it going? It's me. It's me, Lil Felty, the purple guy, the tiny one. Hey, whoa, Mr. Sketches. Hello, Scarecrow th- King. Hey, hey, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, great vocals on that theme song, Sean. I, You gotta... We got to find the guy that did that. God, if I could find the guy who did that theme song, I would shake his hand and tell him that he has the pipes of an angel. I see a lot of other familiar names. Torgo 1985, the sweet elder millennial uh, expert. I see I see Mixic, loyal, sweet Mixic, AJE, Farstar, Heavenhound Doberman, Reeves, Working man Reeves, how's 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 uh, how's the job working for the money? I hear you work for the concept of money now. You work at the money factory. Hey, Lolo Frosty, I love seeing those Traculas in the chat. Hey, Soda eighty six, 
They call me a working man. Hell yeah, Reeves. Ah, modern bard. So many people. So many people. Each. Oh, Avril Ando going in hard. What is that? You're like, that's your fourth donation already. Oh, I gotta, I gotta see what's already in the queue in the media share. It's, uh, it's still break time here at, uh, ye old, at the old podcast factory. Hey, Sir Redwall, congratulations on being less diseased than usual. Hey! Yeah, that's very good. Congratulations. Fleshwife, you have 48,000 channel points. I, ne I never enable channel points, right? Like, nothing shows up. Can you even highlight text? What can You can't do anything with those things. They're like, uh... They're like a uh, highly inflated foreign currency. Oh, well. Anyway, I... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you guys. It's it's still vacation days here at uh, Dumpster HQ. Lolo Frosty 13k chat. I gotta I gotta uh, I'll enable stuff. Not this week. I'm in vacation time. All right. I'm it, these are we're just watching some classic shows. Up in the in the coming hours, we got a we got Galaxy Rangers. We got Lavender Castle. We got Rainbow Bright, and we're gonna wrap it up. With uh, with I, my favorite extreme '90s superhero team, Ultra Force. But I'm very excited just from the titles. The titles the, this week leave uh, make me hopeful. Z-Man says, "Happy to finally uh, be catching you live. Been binging Wizard and the Bruiser at work to keep sane." That's I I th I think I say this all the time. When someone mentions that they listen at work, I like have worked so many jobs where just having a podcast that I relied on just kept me grounded in the universe. And it means a lot when someone says that my show does the same for them. Enjoy yourself. Feels like it feels like we're paying it forward. Eller Shanks, good evening to you, you wonderful person. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. All right. Enjoy yourself. Time waits for no man. Or puppet. Oh, God. Why am I so weird? Why is everything weird? Why is media share up? Why is everything happening? Ugh. I got this. I got this. This is this is fine. This is fine. Bop, boop, bop, boop, boop. Come on. Come on. Why is it? This is upsetting. Why isn't it the uh, thing? There, finally. Jeez. Jeez Louise, I say to you guys. Enjoy your Zoa. Okay. First on the agenda. It's a little, it's uh, you know what? It's my new favorite addition. It's my new favorite addition to the dumpster. It's a tale as old as time. What if cowboys were in outer space and they had powers that made no sense and they had plot lines that made no sense. And also uh, goose, goose man was there. Well, I'll tell you, it's called the adventures of the galaxy Rangers and they fucking slap. Yeah, Jana. No guts, no glory, no pain, no gain. Ready to booty boo. Uh, Lolo Frosty, I've, it's less sexual robots and more sexual uh, computer monitors. It's very bizarre. The, the computers are fucky on this show. You know what? I don't need to explain it. We'll see for ourselves. In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. 
We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Enjoy yourself. No glory. <laughs> you and me both, Reeves. Come on, look at that title. Thank you, Mr. Sketches. Enjoy your Zoa. Thank you, Modern Bard. Thank you, 56 Mouse. Again, uh, I did. I haven't even. I didn't even have to explain it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, up there. You'll see the Streamlabs link in the in the description or in the uh, chat. Uh, if you donate two dollars or more, you can submit to MediaShare a retro commercial that we will watch together in between the cartoons. But oh my God, I can't wait to read that. Uh, one million emotions. One million emotions. Think of it. You got sadness, hunger, sad hunger. All the emotions and many more to see. Glorified security guards. It's not my idea, Goose, so quit complaining to me. Playing nursemaid to a bunch of pictures. <laughs> that bunch of pictures happens to be <coughs> treasures of art from a hundred different cultures, both human and alien. Why is he and priceless? Doc's Why is his lighting so spooky? Why, like, whatever. There, it's, it's an. It's, I, I'm guessing we're doing an art heist this episode. Right. This is an opportunity to generate a lot of goodwill among allied planets. But it's also an opportunity for big trouble, and we're supposed to make sure that trouble doesn't happen. It'll do you good Enjoy to see yourself. an art show, Goose. And Fleshwife has already handed me a tequila. This bode. This doesn't bode well. I'm just letting you, letting everybody know ahead of time. This does not bode well. Cheers. Aw. Aw, beautiful Flesh Wife. Wait, are you Flesh Wife or Oop Marie in the chat right now? Both? What do you mean both? Enjoy your Zoa. Say hi to Flesh Wife or OOP Marie in the chat. She's, she's, uh, hold on. Let me just ceremoniously take my first sip of tequila for the night. Mmm. Oh, she's spicy. Oh, she's spicy. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. That's, oh, I can already tell how this night is going. Hey, Z-Man, thank you for the sub. Oh, oh, everybody's saying hi. <laughs> okay. All right, where were we? Somebody mentioned space NFTs until they state otherwise. I am going to assume they are guarding precious NFTs from across the galaxy. I'd rather be chasing smugglers. We have you on scans, Ranger One. Dupe three. <laughs> Gaming nerd one two three four. Thanks for the follow. I love how normal your name is. How unsuspicious your name is. Nebraska. The planet or the state? The planet, Doc. And that, hmm. Wait, did she, from Nebraska, the planet, not the state. Fuck, I, wow. the urge to run my yap, but also to listen to these juicy details are in direct competition. Oh shit, Heller Shanks is watching naked. Ladies and gentlemen, cherish this, this day. You are sharing chat with a naked person. Right now, as we speak, Heller Shanks is just, just flopping their stuff in the wet, wet water. That landscape's from Nebraska. The planet or the state? The planet, Doc. And that... Enjoy mm, yourself. That looks like a Zotrop mobile. What's that thing? <laughs> <laughs> the most MacGuffin thing Enjoy in yourself. the entire world. Oh God, it just, it just, it's just, you can tell by how it's drawn. It's just the most MacGuffin. Hold on. What's that thing? Enjoy your Zoa. 
Important, important object. This is a sensation doll. It was made by one of the Poe mutants. Edgar Allan Poe mutants, Enjoy it yourself. looks like. Don't joke, my friend. Once upon a time, the Poe mutants controlled a vast empire. For a bunch of big shots, they sure made lousy art. It's not what you can see that's so special about this object. Oh, no. You're supposed to Enjoy touch yourself. it. <laughs> that's a good one. No. You're supposed to touch it, and it's stuck under a foot of glass. You bet it is, because unless you're a Poe, that thing is deadly. <laughs> it's a kind of battery, a storage battery. It holds one million emotions. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, yep, okay, everybody is immediately reading the sensation doll oh god oh no and it doesn't help that like the empath of the team is like reading about is like they if you touch it you you can't it's too dangerous the sensation doll a hundred thousand kinds of fear Enjoy yourself. a quarter million varieties of anger jealousy love one touch and <laughs> The emotional electric chair. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Guzman. Jesus Christ. What? How? This is a children's show. This is a goddamn children's show. And they're <laughs> just Guzman, elated, elated to be the emotion. Oh. Is, I'm, I'm changing the meme. In my head, the new meme is a, is a shocked Asian man going, Emotional electric chair! Emotional electric chair! Well, I guess we don't have to worry about somebody stealing this thing. Maybe not. This sounds funny, I know, but it looks almost alive. In a way, it, Enjoy is, it literally contains the personality of its maker. This is, this is nuts. Let's make the rounds. Now, what time is it? Relax. We got three more hours till everybody clears out and we can go to work. What? Okay. Okay. Looks good. I'll go first. Oh, those guys were like snuggly in there. Why is the animation this good? I thought it was gonna go crazy cooped up inside that thing. Yeah, you'll forget all about that once you start counting your money. So let's get this business over with. Settling. Let's get out of here. Stay right where you are. <laughs> you move. You're a memory. <laughs> oh, he's moving. He's moving so fast. God, God, there's just such a weird energy about this show. I can't put my finger on it. It's it's entrancing. That was just a straight up Star Wars sound effect. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Be careful with those pieces. Enjoy yourself. Would you look at this mess? Leave the corpse. It's our new installation. I call it the death of a schmuck. How could you let this happen? Take it easy, curator. <laughs> ordered a full station search. Good. Find any identification on the thief your men stopped? None, but we're running a few checks right now. So are we. That's how they got in here. What? 
What? Her powers are... She used her emotion powers to figure out that the... That they hid in a spider? On the thief your men stopped? None, but we're running a few checks right now. So are we. Visual Misery. What an... That's how they what an apt name to follow. Thank you. They just sat all scrunched up in here until everybody was gone. Get down from there! Are you loony? <laughs> Curator, when was this web and spider installed? Why? Just yesterday morning, early shuttle brought it in from Mars. The artist lives there in a colony called New Pigal. <laughs> a woman named Arizona McGee. I've heard of her. Everybody's... Wait, Arizona McGee? Like, is that supposed to be like Georgia O'Keeffe or something? Is that what they were going for? I'm trying to read between... The... Are they trying to say anything about art? Are they... Is there like... Is there any sort of meaning about the art world or anything happening besides uh, spider dudes kidnapped a sex poison statue. Heard of Arizona? She's fabulously famous, and she couldn't possibly have had anything to do with this. That is out of- Arizona McGee is known for her highly suggestive paintings of Tenko boxes. Wait for me! escaped he's gone you let him go listen guys i wasn't armed and he was i don't get paid enough to be a hero galaxy rangers we're hey going aaron Mars. thank you for the bezos we sub. Have a little talk with this arizona mcgee arizona mcgee <laughs> stop saying arizona mcgee stop also what a weird time to pause this is, i it's just a just an interpolated goose man Arizona McGee! Arizona McGee! Sation dolls, spiders from Mars, now we're cooking! Okay, this is some Cowboy Bebop shit, and I love it. I love... God! There's, mm, this is, this is, this is where I, I truly thrive uh, on the cartoon dumpster. When like the quality and imagination and creativity is just completely out of whack with the quality of writing. Where like there's so much to like draw you in yet so much to repulse you at the same time that you're just hovering in this limbo state. This in, like an unstable molecule. And this isn't the tequila. Don't this isn't because of the tequila. This is how I always talk about cartoons. This is literally Cowboy Bebop. That was like an actual set from Cowboy Bebop. Mr. Subtract, I, I wasn't expecting you to be here. Oh, we've been waiting quite a while. <laughs> uh, Amy Alligator, there's several robot horses. I don't know if they'll appear in this episode. They kind of, if, if the plot calls for it, uh, then, yeah, they'll ride their robo-horses. I'm sorry, this guy. This guy. Oh, hello there. Mm, yes, I assume you have the uh, emotional doll that doesn't give you an orgasm until you die. Hope you don't mind. I gave my little friend some cake you had lying around. No, of course I don't mind. Well, I got it. Yeah, so I heard. Everybody's heard. What happened, Miller? You were both supposed to be back here by the time they even found out the Sensation Doll was missing! I don't know what happened, Mr. Subtract. Everything was great until we grabbed the thing. And then they got Sanderson. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, they did. But at least I got the doll. Miller, 
Kindly open that suitcase, will you? I want to see what this thing looks like. So, there it is, Mr. Subtract. Uh, the, do you have the money with you? I'm really gonna need it fast. Easy, Crumb. <laughs> Mr. Subtract, uh, my money! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? No, no, no! <laughs> Jesus! Hey, 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 no, no, stop! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that's fucked up. Feels like the doll makes you feel only one emotion, and that emotion is fuck. <laughs> What's the story here? Are the bugs taking over? Call the exterminator. Earth Great delivery. Stowed away on colonist ships have found Mars much to their liking. Well, I guess we know where the artist gets her inspiration. Arizona! Arizona McGee! Miller, is that you? Where you been? Who are you? I thought you were Miller. Miller? My helper! You don't think I lug all this heavy metal around by myself, do you? Are you people art collectors? Do you want to buy something? This helper of yours, Miller, by any chance, did he recently deliver a sculpture of yours to the show on Beta Space Station? Yes, just yesterday. What's the problem? No, you that's Georgia O'Keefe. Mr. Miller lives. I'm sorry, Arizona You're McGee. You're police, aren't you? What's a Galaxy Ranger? Would you please come along with us and show us where Miller lives? We'll explain everything along the way. You sell much of this stuff? Believe it or not, yes! <laughs> Jesus. I don't understand. You think he hid inside my sculpture? <laughs> If I get my hands on some track for doing this to me, I'll... I'm so mad I can tear him to pieces! What? I'm sorry I ever got involved in this thing. Why did I let Jackie some track talk me into it? I'm sorry, Arizona. I'm really sorry. He touched the doll. <laughs> Sounds as if he was forced to. The emotional electric chair. <laughs> Stop saying that! Oh, well, Guzman, it's not that clever. It's not that clever, and you should, you're not, you should not be, you're like, huh? Huh? Like, stop trying to make emotional electric chair a thing. It's not gonna happen. Oh my god. Also, the character, and like, the, the character acting, like, the, the, the character animation work on this, like, goon that we will never see for, or hear from again is way too good. It's way too good. Also, what was the point of making him touch the doll if he was just going to be left there and immediately give you up? Like, he can still talk. He can still, reason, like, form sentences. Like, you have, it's, like, he's not, he's the most not dead. He's the most, like, just ready to rat. Like, you should have just shot him in the face. Really hate me? Well, I hate you, too! <laughs> Granny slaps. Subtract to talk you into this. Does he have the sensation doll now? If I tell you where he is, will you promise not to hurt me? We won't. Jackie lives over in the lowest east side. Everybody knows Jackie Subtract over there. Now please go away. <laughs> Why would... I'm sure he'll be fine. You want what? A Mars Ruby. Go to the jewelry store, don't come to me. The ruby I've is for sale. <laughs> the owner wants to keep it, but I want it. You want somebody to steal this ruby for you, is that it? You don't want me, lady, you want Jackie Subtract. Pandemonium Street, number 301.
Hey, man, before I tell you where Jackie Subtract is, I gotta ask, are you a space cop? If you're a space cop, you gotta tell me. Good little bug. Hey, boss, this lady wants to talk to you. <laughs> Who is this? What is this baby goon? Who the fuck is this guy? Why is he shaped like this? What? Sh this is a... His little booties and his little diaper. This is. This can't be. You, if you need a way more. Wait, is it more intimidating or less intimidating that he's just dressed like this and shaped like this? Now, what's all this I hear about a ruby that's not for sale? I'm not interested in a ruby, Mr. Subtract. What really interests me. Is a little doll. Ah, I see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. I need some help in here. You no. rang. Amazing. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Two fisted Galaxy Ranger action. <laughs> Neat trick. If he leaves the building by the back exit, he'll run right into Goose. Crom! Enjoy your zone. Crom! Here, Crom! Oh my god. To daddy! What? Thank you for the sub. Where's the doll, creep? Doll? I don't play with dolls. Can't you see I'm a grown man? Don't. Shit. Shit. He's, he's, it's, it's an airtight defense. We, we can't touch him. He's right. He's a grown man. He wouldn't be playing with dolls. God damn it. We're going to need a warrant next time. Fuck. He's got us by the balls. Get funny with me, pal. I'm warning you. Crumb, you naughty girl. Where have you been? I don't believe this. A trained roach. This job just keeps getting better. Crumb, attack! Yuck. Don't hurt Crumb. Have a heart. Leave my pet alone. Tell me where the doll is or I'll squash this bug. Right. Okay, that's... Don't hurt her. First of all, as a police officer, Guzman would have no hesitation about killing a suspect's pet. I'm surprised he didn't do that first thing they walked into the room. Where is it? It's on its way to Earth. There's a guy there who collects statues and sculptures and stuff for this weird Enjoy garden yourself. that he's got. I had the doll stolen for him. Where on Earth? I ran a check on this collector. He's an art lover, all right. What he loves, he buys. What he can't buy... He what do you mean going to get weird, Sir Redwall? And smuggles from Tortuga. We are there. Jersey. We have landed in Vincent, weird. New Jersey? He Wait, New Jersey? Did they just say New Jersey? All right. What he loves, he buys. What he can't buy, he steals and smuggles from Tortuna to New Jersey. And he lives in New Jersey? He owns New Jersey. <laughs> One, you are cleared for landing. He owns New Jersey. What? Oh, oh, it's a little freak man. No, it's hey, wait, ugly, isn't it? Wait, I remember this guy. This guy, I remember. We already knew this with his weird beard. Is there just a species of these weird guys? Or is it the same weird guy? Beaters. If you say so, sir. <laughs> Why do you sound like Hank Hill with a British accent? 
No, it's so beautifully ugly, isn't it, Peters? If you say so, sir. The sun comes out at night, doesn't it, Peters? If you say so, sir. Sir, apparently some intruders have entered the property. Oh, I wonder if they've come for you. <laughs> I don't think we need worry too much about intruders. Oh. They have laser swans. I see. The final confrontation of the episode is going to be the Galaxy Rangers versus a team of automated laser swans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they telegraphed this earlier in the episode. Because, you know, the themes come back around. What is art? What is, uh, you know, does, does creativity have intrinsic value or is it perverted by the, uh, account, like the accumulation of wealth? And then obviously the imagery of the laser swan was telegraphed like way earlier in the episode. Because wh what is, what are, you know, the Galaxy Rangers, who's their, who's their hothead battle ready guy? Goose Man. What is the en natural enemy of the goose? The swan. So, you know, it's about Goose Man coming to... Uh, terms with his own past. God, the writers really knew what they were doing with this one. This garden, something tells me it's not as innocent as it looks. Why we haven't seen any guards around here? Why? <laughs> gibberish. Visual, visual gibberish. I think there's the man to see. Be careful. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The fountain. Blast the fountain. My fire fountain! Those Philistines have destroyed my fire fountain! If you say so, sir. There's something very familiar about uh -huh. the collector. Mm -hmm. You two deal with the collector. We'll take care of ourselves. Got an idea. We have to move together, okay? Drag this thing towards that tree over there. <laughs> Goose, it's Brappo. And he's got... It's Brappo! It was Brappo! I, I forgot that that character's name was Brappo. But guys, remember Brappo? Brappo is back. Brappo is returned. I know a lot of people were curious. What has become of Brappo since the last time we saw Brappo? Well, it turns out he owns New Jersey, has a menagerie of laser animals, and is into sex dolls from uh, dead planets. Got the doll. Remember, don't touch it. Worse than gum on my boot. <laughs> I'm billing him for dry clean. You caused us a lot of trouble, Brappo. Now I'm gonna cause you some. Peters, get rid of him. I quit, sir. What? Peters! <laughs> All right. How much do you want? Don't make me mad. We're here for the doll. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. What? You're telling me. You're telling me he... The guy... There, there's so many... After so much rigmarole... And he clearly went out of his way to kid to, to steal this this statue. I'm sorry, 
what was it called sensation doll like to even know that it exists know where it's being displayed and how to fence it across the galaxy and he just didn't even bother he didn't even bother to like know what its deal was there's literally only it's the only reason it has value is because it's a weird emotion thingy one million emotions and he's just gonna be like eh. he's just gonna lay his grubby purple hands on it oh that's amazing oh that's so dumb that's so dumb i need to watch him just idiotically grab it again <laughs> all right how much do you want don't make me mad we're here for the doll you can't have it it's mine <laughs> Nico! No! Goose! Goose! What is that? What? Don't touch him! <laughs> Mommy! Goose, can you hear me? Goose? How do you feel, Goose Man? Feel? I feel wonderful. What? Go to sleep, my masterpiece. You're safe now. What? what happened? Why didn't he? He did. Goose absorbed everything that the Sensation Doll had to give. What? One million emotions. Wait, but wait. Goose's bio defenses protected him. Oh. In a very special way. <laughs> This is so dumb. The, oh, th so you're saying like his Wolverine healing factor kept him sane. You're saying that Gooseman is so ice cold. He's just such a stone cold motherfucker that he can feel a million emotions at once. And he's like, it, it doesn't affect him nothing. Oh my God. Also, yeah, Amy Alligator. It protected him in a special way. And like, that's it. That's it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you remember what Nico said? That doll contains the life force of its maker. And Goose absorbed that life force. He became that Poe mutant artist. Goose? An artist? Then I'm Santa Claus. One million emotions. What was it like? Come on. What was what like? I didn't feel a thing, I'm telling you. You know us super troopers, Doc. We get angry and we get mad. And that's about as emotional as we ever get. Hey, Justin Self, thank you for the $10 super chat. Hey, that's nice. It's nice. I, I worked. I, it was very important to me that I got the, that super chat functionality. What are we up to on subs? I don't even, I, I haven't even checked in a while. I think we're still hovering around 2K. Um, but goddamn. Goddamn. This, like... This fucking, this is such a, it's, it's like, there was something about characters like Guzman. It's like the Wolverine effect, the Raphael effect. Like, as soon as you had the badass in the group, it was just every single male writer just had to keep slathering on, like, how badass the team badass was. Because deep down, nobody wants to write an ensemble piece. Everybody just wants to write about the coolest badass. Also, he's an artist now? What is... This is such an ass ball. Oh, my God. Emotions. What was it like? Come on. What was what like? I didn't feel a thing, I'm telling you. You know us super troopers, Doc. We get angry and we get mad. And that's about as emotional as we ever get. <laughs> Come on, Doc. You know us cops. We're just rage-fueled monsters with no humanity. We feel nothing except a harsh n need to exert power and uh, inflict pain. Right? Is that it? And that's it. That's the end of the episode. Bullshit. What the fuck was this? How is ev All right. There's a few of you in the chat that this is, in fact, your first time. And we've watched, what is this, the ninth episode so far? 
This is the ninth episode of Galaxy Rangers we've watched, and every single one has left me slack-jawed, foaming, confused, and insane at the end of every single one. It is, it is a goddamn experience. I know, there's so many goddamn episodes of this show. There's so many goddamn episodes. It's in, it's there's like over sixty. I don't even know. Like I, I, it has to fall off a ledge. Like by season fifteen, they run out of animation budget, or like they just resort to clip shows or something. Torgo, you're right. Galaxy, every Galaxy Rangers is a sensation doll of a show. It just fills me with a million emotions at once it is an emotional electric chair that i choose to fucking sit in week after goddamn week oh my god oh my god <laughs> gaming nerd just be like i'm just gonna say this is great <laughs> you're right pippa you're right i have to be a goose i have to channel my inner goose man and just just not let it affect me this hard but whoo we whoo we ah well there's already been a ton of commercial donations sent in and we got to start cracking into those for our first commercial break so let me just boopity boppity boopity boop and let me just do this yada yada ya schwibbity schwa Hey, Media Share, you gonna work tonight? Yes, you are. Good for you. That's a good Media Share. Way to go, Media Share. Congratulations. Way to have the baseline functionality I expect of you. Uh, this first commercial was. No, we watched this last week, uh, Fleshwife. We watched the Game Boy Camera commercial last week. It's. Uh, Boopity boop. Uh, all right, here we go. First one. Oh God, Nickelodeon toys from Burger King, 1998. All right, Higgins, time for some one-on-one. Single channel audio. This is your single channel audio warning. Uh, uh, nothing is wrong with your headphones. It's just how the audio was formatted in this video. To go to my favorite place. Wow! Burger King. Blue, hey, Hydro Squeegee, thank you. The Burger King. For that prime sub. Cheater, the Allen Strain spinning pod, and the Wild Stormberry Convy. One inside every kids' club meal you buy. Oh, goddamn. Just drop it anywhere. Oopsies. Taste rule. Enjoy your Zoa. Modern Bard, was that actually your cousin? Oh no, Action League Now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the name of the naked guy in Action League Now? Like the buff? The the chunk? What was it? This is gonna kill me. Is what was Action League? The Flesh. Thank you, Torgo. The Flesh. The Flesh. Everybody. <laughs> Spider Sam. It wasn't Naked Man. Everyone else who said the Flesh was correct. He's super strong and super naked. Man, I loved Kablam. Kablam was fucking great. It was like liquid television for kids. No, the show with the puppet character was named My Cousin Skeeter. Got it, got it. Uh, Avrilando, you donated also for a bur for the Burger King. Uh, what's this one? If you were Single channel again. You'd swing around a bowl eating soggy fish flakes. You don't like fish flakes tough. You don't get a choice. But you do because you're a kid. So you can go to Enjoy Burger yourself. King. No mustard, no problem. You don't like choices, be a goldfish. You want it your way, you can go to Burger King. What'd you get? Here's Bozy. What'd you get? I got the big bowl pimp. What'd Ooh. you get? I don't know. <laughs> Sign <laughs> begin. Kids Choice Awards toys. One with everything. Wow. Every kids Club meal you buy. Only at Burger King. Taste rules. God damn. I it's something about the just the, the 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 lurking menace of getting slimed for saying I don't know, which was just from uh you can't do that on television. Like that wasn't part of Nickelodeon's core branding. It's just weird. 
you know, if, if you're if you are also a distinguished millennial of an elder variety, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, another Avalando Burger King commercial. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, a big kids meal. Uh, that was a big deal when they threw in the big kids meal. This ride's for big kids. I got a big kids meal from Burger King. What's that? It's got more food. Why's it got more food? Big kids need more food. The tasty new Burger King big kids meal with more fun food, like six-piece chicken tenders with gooey apple green slime dipping sauce. <laughs> so this is your splat calculator, your rocket pen? Yes, sir. Then there's one more question. Where can I get them? Right now, every delicious Burger King big kids meal you buy comes with a back-to-school supply, like the message center. You can collect all five. Taste rules. I'm glad, I'm glad Omen was also, uh, oh, God. We're doing this this early? We're doing this this early in the stream? All right, all right. Sir Redwall has been um, making a point to donate to make me watch every trailer in the entire live-action Resident Evil franchise. Uh, usually it comes in later in the stream, but you got in early this week. So Redwall, it's, uh, your dedication to consistency is truly something to be admired. Now let's see what has happened to our favorite character, Mia Jojo Jojo, and her attempts to fight the evil Umbrella Corporation. It'll be fine. It'll be great. Come on, babe. Rise and shine. Let's get that beautiful ass out of bed. You want cereal? <laughs> want a tiger? Please get a room. Sorry. <laughs> none of this is real. None, none, none of this is real. These memories were imprinted. Was that a computer-generated Ada Wong? How nice to see you again. What the hell is going on here? We have you under all control. They used me to perfect the virus. Everyone I've ever known. And everything I've ever done is being used. The way it's... Like, I've never... I don't think I've seen... I don't think I've seen a single one of these movies, but the way that they keep introducing like video game canon characters in their video game canon costumes amongst also these original characters that get to like stay current with the times is so weird. Like why is video game cosplay Ada Wong and video game cosplay uh, Jill Valentine like, why are, why are they just in cosplay mode? It's so, it's, it's such an odd choice. ...against me. Now they can manipulate the world. We've taken over New York, Moscow, Tokyo. This is humanity's last stand. The beginning of the end. I'm gonna kill you. Good luck. <laughs> You'll need it. Classic line, great line. Umbrella is more powerful than ever. And we're the only ones who can stop them. What is this movie about? Is this movie about anything? Why do I have a feeling this isn't actually their final battle? Waiting for a written invitation? Sweet ride. Mia Jijoji Joe in 3D. Resident Evil Retribution 3D. This, that was one of the ones you can skip, right? That was not, in fact, one of the good ones. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong with this one? What's wrong with that one? 
A happy Thursday to my favorite puppet. Uh, Jana, I'm going to pop it over in the uh, browser window because for some reason Streamlabs is being weird about it. Oh, weird, bad CG. The coffee machines used in your fine restaurants nationwide proudly present their offspring. It's a bun. Birth weight, four pounds, 11. Very vampires, Professor Pig. You're not wrong. You're right. It That was like note for note, vampires quality CG. Is that why you suggested it? Fascinating. Fascinating. All right. Just hit next on that. Let's let's do three more commercials and then we'll move on to the next cartoon. Uh, Avrilando again with the kids meal commercials. Did you just listen to our Happy Meals episode on Wizard and the Bruiser? Is this what got you in the mood? Is this what set you off? Or are you just like, do you feel an overwhelming urge for a mediocre tiny hamburger? Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. We just forgot to get you a mighty kids meal. <laughs> Ugh, sisters, mighty girls. It's bigger food for a bigger you. Mighty hungry, mighty kids meal. Need some real music? You can get a mighty kids meal, and you'll get one of three exclusive Radio Disney Mighty Music CDs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The idea, the idea that that minivan full of 13 year olds would be like, oh, dad, dad, this is so lame. You're embarrassing me. God, can we play some real music? And then they just put on a kids bot version of who let the dogs out. And they're like, fuck yeah, old man. This is what the kids listen to. <laughs> Who let the kids out? Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> Just being like, yeah, hell yeah. Holdenators, ho. Woo. Did I get raided? Is, did that happen? I don't have my uh, Twitch thing up. Did that just... There's, there's only one reason why I'd be getting all these Holdenators hoeing. Is that has to be what happened. Unless it didn't. Oh, yeah, Holdenators raiding with a party of 28. Yeah. Yeah, Holdenators, ho, and so many nice people following, yeah. Welcome to the Cartoon Dumpster. It's, uh, it's a weekly party where we watch weird bad cartoons and watch weird old commercials in between the weird bad cartoons. Southern Fry Dry, how you doing? Ampham Video, Chris1178C, Fossil Hunter, yeah, cool. Love to see these follows. Holden is the wizard. He said so on his stream. Holden's the liar is what he is. He is a dirty, opportunistic liar, and you cannot believe a word that comes out of his lizardy face. Not all of the TV shows are bad. I mean, they're not... Okay, mm, some of them are good. I guess you could say some of them are good. I guess, I guess. It depends. Mix it. You can't think of either of us as, as either because on some subjects, one of us is burlier on the topic than the other. It varies from episode to episode which one of us is the wizened, heady, spiritual wizard and which of us is the earthly, muscular bruiser. It's, that's, the, that's the brilliance of the concept is you can't, you can't pin either of us down. Love you, Puppet Jared. Ah, oh, I love you too, Anthem Video. Please, next time you see Holden, tell him that uh, he's a liar, not to be trusted, and I am saying this as a verified uh, insider. Uh, or, yeah, no, wait, call me. Let's just say an anonymous insider close to the subject said Holden's a filthy, stupid liar and Jake's cool. <laughs> uh, how many? Okay, there's two commercials left on this block, and then we'll move on to the next cartoon. Uh, Avrilando, again, with the kids' meal ads. This one's from 2001. Huh. 
What is a 2001 vibe? Hmm, I'm curious. <laughs> Introducing the Mighty Kids Meal from McDonald's. You're gonna get a really cool toy. Like a Diva Stars doll or Diva Accessory. Only now, since you're bigger, we made your food bigger too. <laughs> and uh, this is the last one. This is from Torgo1985. Uh, think before you have too many hard seltzers. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm t this is a PSA, isn't it? Uh, the PSAs are always the most mind-fucky. Uh, I'm terrified. I'm so terrified. You think drinking makes you sophisticated. <laughs> a sparkling conversationalist. Uh, the guy. The guy is great. He's the greatest freaking guy in the world. <laughs> you may even think that drinking makes you popular. Hey, watch it, boy. Why don't you watch it? <laughs> but drinking makes you something else altogether. Oh, God. You can make an ass of yourself. Oh, God. I mean, it's not the drinking that made you a weird ass. It's just being from Massachusetts in general. Like, if Massachusetts has to have a, like, a PSA to deal with the loud asshole problem, the call's coming from inside the state, my dudes. I guess it's, it's, that's not an alcohol problem. That is, a, that is squarely on the shoulders of New England. And I won't hear anything to the contrary. Um, well, for the next cartoon, uh, we are going to the magical world of Rainbow Land for one of uh, our favorite shows here. Uh, specifically because it's something people have actually heard of. Hmm? Oh, did, did I miss something? Hey. <laughs> uh, Rainbow Bright is a beloved character that you might remember from children's greeting cards, coloring books, and several million uh, retro t-shirts for sale at hot topic but the truth is the actual show rainbow bright is a psychotropic nightmare uh filled with cthuloid-esque gods and monsters and experiencing it with fresh eyes is something that will leave you forever changed <laughs> uh my bestie was a huge fan and explained the whole thing it was like getting a slow motion head injury Jana says I miss Murky's mom. I miss Murky's mom as well. I miss those those giant, giant uh, color, color uh, star sprinkles. Those just massive star sprinkles that lady had. Anyway, uh, what was this episode called? I had it up. Rainbow Night. This episode is called Rainbow Night. <laughs> Oh, Howard R. Cohen is uh, the original writer of this show, and he is a gonzo dude. And I'm very excited to see that this episode was written by him. So, you know, it's going to be a weird one. Hey, Sinistro, happy to have you. Okay, all right. Uh huh. Moon shenanigans. Ah. I think this is the most beautiful night I've ever seen. Moonglow really did it this time. Moonglow? Who 
the fuck is Moon Glow? Uh huh. Oh, that's Moon Glow's moon chair. Oh. Ooh, what a night! Sometimes night sprite you get started and you just can't stop, you know? Your face is weird. You got a weird face. Your eyeballs are wrong. You got them wrong eyeballs. Your mouth and the whole skull scenario is upsetting. And I don't trust you with the moon. Deadneck, that is the first time I've seen the rainbow dog and cat as well. <laughs> AJE, you're not wrong. You're not, you're, you're, you might be onto something. Why is only Rainbow Bright's twink can talk? All the other boys just gurgle garble. She's in control of the moon. She can't get a talking one of these fuzzballs. <sighs> the moon could be just a little more gold. Don't you think so? Oh, come on, Night Sprite. Night Sprite. And then we'll call it a night. Quit worrying. We'll have enough energy left to do this for a week. <laughs> I... I feel like that's a joke that was so that was used so often in kids cartoons where like the nonverbal character would do a patter like he was telling a joke, but he can't speak. So it's literally just insert joke here. We did. We can't write a joke, but like imagine he said a joke. It'd be pretty funny, right? Oh shit. Boy, look at the sky. It's beautiful. Night's not supposed to be beautiful. <laughs> Night's the only time that rainbow brat doesn't run around making everything bright and colorful. If only there was a way to make the nights dark and gloomy and the way they're meant to be. There is Murky. What? Wh yeah, wait. Murky. Murky, do you think? Wait, wait, wait. Murky, murky. You can absolutely. It's just the full moon, dude. Like, just, just wait a week. Just literally wait a little while and the moon will go away. No evil plan required. That's, you're, you're, you're overthinking this. There is. Say, Murky, if you just. <laughs> Oh, no, Murky. Like this. Hello, Beansprout Brain. Wait till that little star splasher moon glow goes to work tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We've got work to do. Hello. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> I think tonight is going to be even more beautiful than last night. <laughs> I can't wait to be unconscious during all of that other girl's hard work. Atomic Dragons of Mars. Is she sleeping in overalls? <laughs> yes. Finally, someone is pointing out the real issues with this show. Who goes to sleep in overalls? In a full head-to-toe dr dress? It's stupid. Oh, my God. Oh no, Murky, your concertina is broken. You're gonna have to go to Red Wing Technical Institute and learn how to repair it. Be quiet. We've got to take her by surprise. 
Do you? A who? Moon Club. You're an adult man. She is a, a, a space baby. Wonderful night, Sprite. I can feel it. If we can keep her from making all that light up in the sky, it'll be pitch dark and gloomy down here. Come on. All set? You sure make a pretty sky. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Murky. <laughs> Where'd she go? We've got to find her. Ouch! She's invisible. How can you tell, Murky? I, I can't even see her. You'll see her soon enough. Spider Sam, Murky, don't get your head out of the gutter, okay? Not everything has to be weird, Spider Sam. All Murky did was just uh, shoot his knockout gas to make the girl disoriented and fall down. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with that highly gross situation you're suggesting. <sighs> what was the point of that? Now, Blucher. We'll find her. Don't worry, everybody. The stars will be shining before you know it. Wherever he took her, he couldn't have taken her to where the most magnificent horse in the universe can't catch. Did all of you hear Night Sprite say something about turning 33? I heard that too, but I thought it was just in my head. I'm actually, I got, I got to I got to double check. <laughs> okay, fine. Taking her to where the most magnificent horse in the universe can't catch up to him. Oh, atomic dragons, you're looking for consistency. You... Wait, you look exactly like the moon girl. Who are you? were shining when I went to bed. If I was that kid and I looked out at the sky and I was like, my only thought, the only thought in my brain would be like, oh, the entire earth has been cast into eternal darkness. Oh, that means they're going to cancel school. Fuck yeah, I'm going to play Nintendo. What is this zero dark fucking rainbow shit? What the fuck is this? Is it safe? Is it safe, Moonglow? 
Is it safe? <laughs> she can only work in the dark. <laughs> All we have to do is keep the sun lamp on her. <laughs> now, she hasn't got the power to do anything. Working! <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm. <laughs> look at the pretty stars! What is this plot? We'll take her out in the sun. <laughs> Come on. What sun? What is happening? Mm. What do you mean we'll take her into the sun? If you wanted everything to be nighttime. with no point in this episode. If I get any closer to the pits, I won't have the power to help her. Wait, what? Why? We got to find a way. Wait, what do you mean? What 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 do you mean you won't have the what power? Can you even make rainbows without the sun? Isn't like sunlight inherent to a rainbow existing? What? Where are we? Who am I? Who are half these people? What are the, like, are, do, are we obeying natural laws? Are we obeying magic laws? What is, you can, I'm, my brain is melting. To make them come out. They might never come out. Wait, moon bows are a thing? I've never heard of a moon bow. That sounds rad as fuck. You'll never stop me from making the stars shine. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. This is fucking weird. If we can't take her to the sun, we'll bring the sun to her. Now, Lurky, I am going to count to three. When I reach three, I want you to throw the big lever on the machine next to you. Got it? Uh, sure, Mikey. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> oh. Like... Like, think of all the merchandise, all the t-shirts, all of the novelty dollhouses, all the coloring books dedicated to this character in service of a property where the plot of, of, the, of episodes like this is Danny DeVito tortures a little girl for 20 minutes. Like, what, what was this franchise? No! If we don't do something, Moongo will never be able to make the night beautiful again! But what can we do? Okay. Enjoy your Zoa. Thank you, Modern Bard. Rainbow, you've got to do something. If we don't save Moon Glow soon, that bright light will burn away her power. Well, what? We'll be in there to save her, even if it costs me my power. But what? You're powerless. If he sees you, 
Where are these stakes coming from? He'll expect us to come over the bridge. We'll climb down to the bottom of the pit and sneak over that way. I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> hey, hey, stop her! Oh, okay, Murky. Now stop that. Not like that, fruit pie bread. Turn the light up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I this this episode, man. This episode is <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> Are you all right? It's also every episode this horse eats shit. Every episode this fucking majestic stallion just sh like should have just breaks every bone in its little fragile horse legs. Uh, I need more tequila. I need more tequila. Fleshwife, when you're done drinking your ceremonial uh, horse injury uh, shot, uh, I would love a little bit of uh, happy juice. <laughs> uh, SL Passe, absolutely do it. Do it. Oh, look who did. Lurky looks like half the dudes in Bushwick. Am I right? Hey, up top. Up top. Murky, <laughs> Lurky looking like one of those dudes with a bare-ass mattress on the floor. Am I right, folks? Hey. Where's your PBR can, Lurky? Babe, am, am I right? Am I right about Lurky? Looking like the guys I dated before you. Hey! What? <laughs> you told me you were pure. <laughs> You told me you were hidden in a tower in a crystal by a wizard and that I showed you the meaning of true love. What do you mean you dated people before me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, no, it was all a lie. You just, you were, that was just the plot of The Legend of Zelda. Oh, God, I'm a fool. A fool. Beautiful glue. <laughs> the bridge. Try something. Look, the sun's coming up. What? It's not the sun. It's, it's the moon. It's moon glow. What is the plan? What is happening? Why did they have to move her? How does anybody's powers work? Why can't Rainbow Bright use her powers? 
Uh, the bay? Moon glow, you idiot. Is moon glow in place? Why didn't you say so? Sir, she is. She's right here. You loser. As soon as she steps on that, she'll fall into the tunnel. She'll slide all the way into the deepest cavern in the pit. And then, <laughs> no more rainbow bright. <laughs> you think I'll just sit here and let her fall in your trap? Exactly I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So we made it this far. We made it this far through like 800 layers of shenanigans. And the the actual plot is Murky is going to push Rainbow Bright in a hole. That's the stakes. Is all of this was to get Rainbow Bright in a position where she can be pushed down a hole. Fantastic. I great insane. Bob I'm having like an, an I'm having an episode. I'm having a cerebral episode. I can feel my pituitary gland draining of all moisture and shriveling into the size of a French courant. <laughs> Warn her now if you can. Murky, uh, where do you want me to put these? No! Stop, stop! Who are you yelling at, Murky? <laughs> That's the noises I'm making when I try and think about what the fuck is happening. If, like, if someone's like, hey, Jared, what's happening in this episode? All that would come out of my mouth is... <laughs> Watch out, you're getting close to the death hole. Don't step on the evil. I don't see anything. This is so weird. die too i can't live without you you are the only thing keeping me in this world boss let's romeo and juliet this thing boss duh Wait for me. <laughs> lover's leap you hate to see it murder suicide in the rainbow land uh pits uh, sorry murky Wait, the hole doesn't do anything? They're just in a hole? That like they're they're fine? The goal was to inconvenience Rainbow Bright? <laughs> the deepest depths of the pits was like a five foot drop? Is that what I'm to believe? Moonglow, you've been tortured for like several hours. Do you need therapy or like uh, to be sent to a mental hospital or like have any sort of emotional care? Nah, I'm sure you're fine. Let's go party. Sure, thanks to you and Starlight. Oh, look at those cold dead eyes. She is forever changed. Like she puts on a brave face to the world, but deep down, deep down she has been shattered by the events of this night. This is, this is not the face of a well person. Glow? 
It's okay, Starlight. She always gets invisible when she's working hard. <laughs> what? 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 That has to be an analogy for something. What do you mean? What? Don't just... Somebody wrote this down? And someone else had to record it? And someone else had to animate it? But that's... What? What? Thanks, Rainbow Bright. Are you all right, Lulu? Sure, thanks to you and Starlight. Moonglow? It's okay, Starlight. She always gets invisible when she's working hard. Working? Sure, look. What a night, but what a morning it's going to be. Weird face. Thanks, Rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow Bride and me. Rainbow Bride and me. Oh my God. Oh, that was, that was a lot. That was a lot that the, the words I would use to describe Rainbow Bride is like dreamscape. There's a lot of dream logic. There's a lot of just unreality happening in the guise of like a children's cartoon. And in a children's cartoon, you can like indulge magical thinking. But like when it's just straight up nonsense, when like from sentence to sentence, the stakes, the possibilities, the just A to B uh, consequences of actions are just like unveiled and disregarded left and right it's yeah acid heller shanks you're right it's like an acid trip it is it is it is the random firings of the human mind interpreted through the ego struggling to maintain coherence it is insane it is not even real like can you imagine a show being written today that was that just fully incoherent just fully just just gibberish and yet rainbow bright is a beloved icon of an era like there's like so many kids and well now so many adults all over the world are like hell yeah rainbow bright i love rainbow bright i remember rainbow bright but they don't they don't remember rainbow bright rainbow bright was a acid trip cocaine nightmare and that's just been completely glossed over because the, the, the between the dolls and the stationary sets and the Lisa Frank folders or whatever, it's just like, yeah, fun time color girl. Ah, uh, Mixic just shared the best lurky meme. The best lurky meme. Well, I gotta, I gotta look at that. I gotta see what the best lurky meme is. <laughs> Uh, that's very good, Mixic. That's very good. Mix at Mixic draws on Twitter. Some of the best puppet Jared memes in the business. Uh, I love this. I love this so much. 
Uh, uh. Sinister says Bobby's world is another example. It does not hold up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I need to like, I need to cleanse my mind. I need like. Uh, Heller Shank says my wife says she remembers Rainbow Bright perfectly, and that's what turned her into the damaged candy goth girl she was in the late nineties. I believe it. Heller Shanks, your wife is what we call a keeper of the truth. It was, it was on her soul that the burden of the truth was laid, and she had to carry that. Slutty Change says, it's called the Mariko Aoki phenomenon? Is that like a joke, or is that an actual phenomenon? What is Mar Do I know what Mariko Aoki? Is it urge to... D oh. <laughs> We, uh, I think we've talked about this before. The urge to defecate in bookstores. I, I remember that. That's not the first time this has come up on the stream. Okay, you're having a side convo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lose the thread sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. It's time to cleanse the palate with a little bit of... Uh, with some good old fashioned commercials. Let me just open up Media Share and let's see what we have next on the docket. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, first we got an Applejacks commercial from Torgo and a Madballs commercial from Shame Spiral Potato? God, I haven't thought about Madballs in forever. Holy shit. I'm just adding a couple to the queue. And let's get started with Torco's Apple Jacks commercial. 1996, we eat what we like. <laughs> I thought you boys were going to work on the garage. Uh, uh, Dad, we're resting. Yeah. And eating those Apple Jacks, I see. Hey, what's wrong with you kids? They don't taste like apples. That isn't why we like them. Then why? <laughs> I know, I know. You just do. Man, so much advertising in the 90s was about spiting the adults around you with your consumer choices that you could only make by using the same adult's money. It's, very, it's a very weird dynamic, but I get why it works. Psychology, man. Mad balls, mad balls, gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball, they're gross, funny, yucky, sick. There's eight, so you can take your pick. We throw, catch, it's uh oh fun. There's so much gross in every one. Freaky fun is what they're for. There's so much ugly, so much more. Gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball. We play with a mad ball. We play with a mad ball. Mad ball. Freaky fun for everyone, sold separately from Amtoy. Mad ball. There was a co yeah, uh, there is absolutely a comic book called Mad Balls vs. Garbage Pail Kids. What's real weird is that there was like in the, was it in the 80s or the 90s? Mad Balls just 1986, 1986. I had to bring it up just because like I remember it. There was an honest to God just Mad Balls comic book where you had to like imagine trying to tell a story. Like some poor schmuck, who actually wrote this? Who actually had to, and it was a Marvel comic on top of that. Marvel published an official Madballs comic book. The, Michael Gallagher and Howie Post had the sorry duty of trying to craft a narrative about the goddamn Madballs. Oh, oh, one of them was called Crackhead? That's awful. That's dumb weird the past was weird the past was goddamn weird Yu-Gi-Oh though Yu-Gi-Oh made perfect sense AJE donated for this who says tell Marie thanks for helping me focus for the last couple of weeks oh AJE uh, if you're not from I don't I've talked about it uh, a couple of times but uh, if you like Flesh Wife and you uh, need help getting uh, work done throughout your day 
she does a co-working stream, which is uh, a way for people to focus on tasks uh, throughout the day. They use, uh, she uses something called the Pomodoro method, where you actually sit down and uh, lay out a task and you set a timer. She plays chill music and then you take a 10 minute break and go on to the next task. And it really helps you focus, especially if you're like working from home or if there's just something you've been like meaning to do for a while, but you haven't been able to like summon the motivation to just take care of it. Uh, it's a really fun time or not. F well, yeah, no, it's fun. It's genuinely fun. Good vibes. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash OOP Marie, Oop Marie. And it really, it really is. I, I, it's, it honestly keeps you on point. It's a very nice time. Give her a follow. That's AJE. It's been very pleasant. That's the AJE seal of, of pleasantness. That's one of the highest uh, awards you can get in this industry. Slutty Change says, it's fun and you get shit done. Uh, JD Power, Slutty Change Fun and Get Shit Done Award. Five years in a row. Reeves says, Reeves. it's a real chill time. That's the annual Reeves Chill Time Award. It's the most highly acclaimed productivity stream on all of Twitch. Hey, oh yeah, and if you sub, you can get emotes of my cat. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at his face. I love it. The Mixic also likes it award, 2022 to 2023. Again, no other productivity stream has gotten this many acclaims. So check it out, twitch.tv slash oopmarie, O-O-P Marie. But where was I? Ah, yes, ah, yes. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> How could I forget our good boy, Yami Yugi? What'll it be? Hmm, do I want the burger or the chicken? Chicken, chicken. I'll get the burger. Fine, make it with cheese. With cheese? Do you want onion? Yes. No. <laughs> No, and don't forget the ketchup. Yu-Gi-Oh. That was it? I mean, don't forget the k k, -k ketchup was, was kind of funny. Hey, Yami Girl. I, Of course, of course, someone named Yami Girl would, would love that ad. Ooh, tacos. Who requested tacos? Torgo did. Torgo has requested this early Taco Bell ad from 1979. Oh, wow. What do, how do you even sell Taco Bell in 1979? Well, just make your food afresh. At Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Then you feel your taste buds tingle. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Why just make you a burrito? Or a tasty enchirito. Just start what the fuck? What the what is this revival meeting about tacos? Enjoy your Zoa. This is so like for someone who grew up with like the Taco Bell dong and like the Yo quiero Taco Bell. Like it feels like Taco Bell ads were always like aiming for a level of ironic coolness, but this is just so sincerely joyous of a jingle. I I'm rolling it back. I need to hear that like and ch tostadas and Doritos. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, why just make you a burrito? Or a tasty and Dorito. Tostadas and tacos. Taco Bell, put a smile on your face. Hey, hey. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Yahoo. Praise Jesus. Praise Taco Bell. Lordy. Is gasoline. <laughs> Oh, that newscaster face right at the end was amazing. Oh, my God. Torgo, that it was a find. That was a goddamn find. That it was that was a gift? That was like an actual gift for my soul. I feel healed. I actually feel healing energy from the onslaught that was the Rainbow Bride episode. That was like, that was kind of nice. That was kind of nice. Holy shit. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, my God. All right. Next one is another Torgo for ABC's Computer Critters, uh, a PSA from 1985. Uh, Torgo says, a family of furries 
who are all different animals, teach you about computers. Computers are coming your way. Computers? For paying bills? Mothers, too. Bah, humbug. Wow. Let me try it. Stella, you shouldn't have. Harriet, computers are everywhere, and it's time the Critter family had one. <laughs> computers are mere toys. No, I think Della's right, Foxworthy. Computers are a part of everyone's life. On our class trip to the airport, we learned how computers help planes take off and land safely. My class saw how computers help firemen get to fires faster. And Harriet, there may be a computer talking to you at the new Harriet, supermarket. Even our phone system uses computers, and computers help predict the weather. And the newest elevators are computerized, right, Stanley? <laughs> yeah. And we'd never have gotten to the moon without computers. Oh, digital watches are computers too. Time for your dental appointment, Foxworthy. <laughs> <laughs> computers are everywhere. See you soon. Someday, middle-aged men will use computers to project their face onto a digital avatar and we'll watch this commercial for the amusement of 87 weirdos over their computers on something called the internet. Now you're just smoking fucking dirt weed, you alligator weirdo. Microscope guy, what a time to be alive. Someday computers will allow someone to call you a little bitch because you were bad at pretending to shoot someone in the brain. Uh, ooh, Z-Man222 donated uh, for a Japanese Fanta grape commercial. God, I love a Japanese commercial. God, I love a Japanese commercial so much. I want, uh, one week, I want to do like, if I can find weird animes and do like an anime only episode, not like a dubbed over, like re-edited thing, like weird bad 90s anime releases with like bad dubs i would want to do all japanese commercials on top of that i j sometimes i'll just watch japanese commercial compilations on youtube just to like zen out just to like actually just feel happiness <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Short, sweet, perfect. Thank you for that. Another idea I had uh, just this morning, I d it would be really hard to actually do right because I feel like there'd be tons of um, like terms of service violations and like, like it would be like, it would be a hard ne like needle to thread. I'd have to like figure out a way to like put in a buffer so I could like dump the feed if something weird happens. But I would love to do like old flash animations for an entire night. Like, it, like I don't know how mechanically it would work, but if like it was just a whole night of watching bad 2000s flash animations, I think that would be a fun time as well. Yammy girl says, oh no. Right, like, like it's like between the nudity the racism and like all the other weird edgelord stuff like it would be yeah like yeah why not why not potter puppet pals you know what i mean just really walk down that piece of like animation history that has gotten memory hold oh yeah a lot of ableism a lot of yeah it a lot of language that like would not fly a live homestuck reading jesus Jesus, could I do that? Could I actually do that? Would people give a shit? I've talked about this before. It's been like one of my bizarre internet goals to finally like sit down and actually read Homestuck. But who knows? Who knows? Streamlabs, are you going to be weird on me? Are you going to be weird? I would appreciate it if you would not be weird. I would appreciate it if you worked. What if I turn you off, turn you on again, and then hit refresh? It would work. It would fucking work.
この惑星では Hell yeah, Mr. Sketches! Hell yeah, Mr. Sketches! I was talking about. Did you read my mind? Were you here last week? I love some Boss Coffee Alien Jones ads. I love it. Um, there is an in, it's been a decades long ad campaign for Boss Coffee where Tommy Lee Jones is an alien trying to navigate Japanese society. It's incredible. Uh, this one, I don't know who donated it, but it's、uh, Pretzel Boy Jason Alexander, so you know we gotta watch it. The Dream Team is adding a potent new weapon to its arsenal. I'm just another ball player. The secret to his unconventional style, reliable sources say, are these fat free rolled gold pretzels.、Right, oh. And that sparked an international uproar. Pretzel Boy has unfair advantage. We make formal process. Fear and jealousy. That's what this is all about. Let the Pretzel Boy play. Only time will tell if fat free pretzels will be allowed. But the dream ended today. Aren't pretzels already fat free? It's literally just salt and flour, right? We find these roll gold pretzels on fairly elevated scale. The pretzel boy shall not play. Oh, sure, I'm disappointed, but、uh, I got my own team now. Go, 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 go! All in all, a happy ending. It might look good. For the pretzel boy. Weird. That was a very weird pretzel commercial. And、uh, this will be the last ad for this block.、Uh, this is called El Gordo. So, some people have a sweet tooth. Me? Ranch! I've got a ranch tooth. Ranch! And I get these insane cravings for Wendy's Monterey Ranch sandwiches. What? Ranch! Ranch? It's way out of control. Do you want to come up for some coffee? Ranch! Ranch? Is that supposed to be the tooth's mouth, or does the tooth have like a weird little Hitler mustache? I can't tell. Ranch? Yak, 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 yak. Wendy's Monterey Ranch Chicken and Cheeseburger. Creamy ranch with bacon and Monterey Jack. Now for a limited time. Ranch. Okay, that was his、do、mouth. Wendy's, do what tastes right. Modern Bart says this is not El Gordo. All right, uh. Ooh, is Fleshwife is Fleshwife pulling a rope? Ah, there we go. Thank you, Fleshwife. This is El Gordo. When it's premium furniture you're looking for, look for the mark of El Gordo. El Gordo. <laughs> oh, it's Gordy Dodd. Gordo. El Gordo, of course. Slutty change. This is not El Scorcho. I caramba.、Uh, wow, that was a burp. I hope that didn't appear. That, I hope that wasn't on. Oh, God. Nobody heard that, right? That was real gross. Anyway, Dots Furniture and Mattress. Restoring order and justice to furniture buyers everywhere. The legend of El Gordo lives on in premium crafted furniture. Selected for contemporary style and classic elegance, and defending your right to the best mattress on the market. El Gordo won't win the sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the store. Oh, Modern Bard, thank you. Thank you for that. God, I wish nothing but happiness and joy to Gordy Dodd and all of his friends and family. Ple- like Gordy Dodd, unproblematic fave. He won't be undersold, and frankly, I pity the fool that tries to. Anyway. Anyway,、uh, it's, been a recent, it's been a recent tradition here at the、uh, Cartoon Dumpster to do a little interlude with a bizarre stop motion animated show from Great Britain,、uh, from the mind of Jerry Anderson of、uh, Thunderbirds fame, comes what I'm going to call What If Jim Henson、uh, Dark Crystal Met Joss Whedon's Firefly. It's a spacefaring fantasy adventure that we call Lavender Castle. Lavender Castle, the place of legend, fabled right across the universe. The 
This is our quest. To find it. Ah. <laughs> it is such a specific joy to see people that are witnessing Lavender Castle for the first time. The Black Swat? This is a pipe. Oh, snakes alive. What snakes is that, matey? Scuttle me bones. We don't want to sail into that. We'll shelter on that planet ahead. Is this a new bad guy? I feel like we might have seen him in the pilot. Well, <laughs> I'll be scuppered. <laughs> it's them there swabs from the paradox. Oh, what do you mean, shaped like a cross? This planet doesn't look like a cross to me, and I should know I'm the one in the pilot's seat, remember? Oh, you don't see, Roger. You never do. I never see? That's rich coming from you. And what if it is shaped like a cross anyway? Oh, spot mark an X. He means X marks the spot. You know, where treasure's hidden. At least it's always like that on the story drone. Cup of Galactian tea, Mr. Sproul. <laughs> you know, according to my databank, this isn't the right sort of planet for treasure. Oh, it is a treasure spot. None of you's believe Sproggle, but Sproggle's going to find it. Careful, Sproggle. It's dark out there. Oh, you! <laughs> I actually laughed at that. I actually laughed at that. I actually laughed at that. <laughs> Just... I one of my least favorite forms of comedy is just having someone fall over and go whoa, but fucking Sproggle eating shit on the stairs actually caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, he's a treasure spot. <laughs> we shouldn't have laughed at him. I'd better go and see he's all right. Oh, what? You don't think there's treasure out there too, do you? You. We don't want that scoundrel thrice knowing we're here. Cannons! Prepare for a broadside! Fire! Excuse me, sir, but down everyone! <laughs> Is he giving him a beer? Oh. Oh, that's... Their shit is wrecked. The paradox... They're dead. They're gone. All gone. Every episode of Lavender Castle after this is just Sproggle just sorting, sifting through the wreckage, being like, they're dead. Oh, they're dead. Oh, no, they're all fucking dead. I'm alone. I'm going to die all alone. It must have been Dr. Aegon. I don't think so. This is old-fashioned gunpowder. Gunpowder. <gasps> that means... Oh! Got it in one. It was short, Fred Red. Walking stick. Are you all right? Well, apart from being buried under 14 tons of rubble, I'm fine. What happened? The cutting snark blew us to pieces. Are they? They all survived. So where are they? Clapped in irons on the cutting snark. Oh. Lead came ashore oh. for them. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, Sproggle. We've got to rescue them. Oh. Sproggle doesn't want to fly. Hang on. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
maybe Jerry Anderson and I'd get to like have an aside about how Lavender Castle was kind of rad. Oh, he is, he is slizzard. He is just for sloshing her. He is just galorpy dork. He is just gizzled up on that good glug. No, like a don't. <laughs> it's some sort of force field lead set up. <gasps> Laika, look. What is it? Sproggle will explain. <gasps> Won't. <laughs> Just slit his fucking lizard necks. It's the the black swat. The what? If the black swat. You, you, you're stuck until you rock. Or at least until its owner says so. <laughs> Come on, my little pet. Huh. Right, you scurvy lot. It's plant walking time. Reeves, you make a very good point. Oosh. These thematic convergences that happen on the sh on the stream, you you never know how it's gonna manifest, but uh. Yeah, apparently the theme this week was weird robot spiders. Oh, we start with. I know! My old matey Sproggle, eh? Of course, I could always agree to let him return to his duties in the crow's nest. Never! How did I know he'd say that? Now down the plank, you scurvy worm! <laughs> No! Leave him alone, you coward! Take me! Sorry, Captain. Wouldn't want you to miss seeing your matey die. <laughs> Move along there, Sprout! Oh no, space sharks! And you'll never find the treasure. Struggle will take its secret to the grave. Treasure? What treasure? At the center of the planet is a cliff. And in the cliff is a cave. And in the cave is a treasure. <laughs> is there really a treasure in this cave? Oh, there's treasure, all right. Now, you stay here and be good. Parrot will look after you. Ah! She may not look like much, but one false move and she'll pack your eyes out. Ah! Oh, that's fun. Beast is a beggar! Oh, poor old Sprugger. It's weird that... Just by the very nature that it's clear that Maquette isn't capable of very any motion at all, that I know that that's not going to be a threat. Just because, like, the act of animating that thing with only two points of uh, animation is definitely not on the docket today. Then you didn't even find a treasure. Oh, Sproggle didn't, didn't he? Now, where is... Uh, oh, uh, uh, Is this what you're looking for? <gasps> oh, the treasure. Small, perhaps, but at least it is a treasure. And what good's a treasure when you've lost your home and you're clapped in irons? <gasps> oh. See? Real treasure. Yes. Real treasure. Wait. Lavender treasure. Lavender. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. The treasure had a turn birds off functionality. Oh. What? I see. Lavender castle. What? That way. What? Seal him in. Leave him to die. My little pet. Your little pet? Captain, who are you talking to? Oh, um, um nobody. Um, uh, um, come on now, quickly. Blow me, Sproggle was right after all. There is a cross, a skull and crossbones. What? Oh, 
but we haven't seen the last of Shortbread Lad. <laughs> well, that may be so, but it'll take him a long time to find us. A very long oh, time. I never noticed. Th like, the third eyeball, the third eyeball, let's agree, terrible. It, upsetting, upsetting design choice. I never realized they gave it, like, a weird little eyebrow on top of the nose as well. God, that's even worse. That's like, it's it's so, uh, it's just, it's just really, why would you do this? There was no reason. There was no reason to do this. Like, the design is so strong, and then this fucking nose eyeball just, just genuinely just makes it so upsetting. Long time. <laughs> what? Wait, what was... Wait. So, wait. Okay. They landed on the pirate planet. There was a pirate there. He blew their house up. And then the MacGuffin kicked in and everything was fine and they left. That was... You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Visually stunning. Narratively meh. But I'm okay with that. Oh, this was a whole series. It's it's all 10-minute chunks. I don't know under what auspices it aired, but there's, like, at least a couple dozen episodes of this show. And the only reason I found it was I was looking at, like, a wiki list of TV shows that, like, the first TV shows to use CG animation. And among, like, stuff like Reboot and Vampires and, like, a bunch of other weird like artsy European shit from the 80s was this one show called Lavender Castle from Britain that I never heard of and it turns out it's fucking rad man yes they're finding their way to <laughs> to Lavender Castle that's the story they run into obstacles on their way to Lavender Castle and the obstacles are solved by way of Lavender Castle that is in fact the entire arc that's hmm 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 hmm. Eh, it's twenty six episodes, and what was that? Six. That was only the sixth episode. Hmm. Maybe we'll do a block of them and just like knock a bunch of them out. Who knows? Who knows? Lavender Castle better than Dark Tower? I believe it. I believe it. Let's knock out a couple of commercials because you guys have been very generous and there's still a bunch in, left in the queue. And then we'll move on to our last uh, cartoon of the night. Ultra Force! Ultra Force! Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm already seeing a neat variety of... Oh, how dare you. How dare you. I'm going to remove the browser window. And you're going to see what the first commercial is. And all of you are going to recoil in horror. All of you are going to regret your decisions this entire night once you see this. Uh, my apologies. There it is. There it is. The 1995 Duracell commercial from starring the Puttermans. God. God. Is everybody using Duracell batteries? No kidding. The second I heard you can't buy a longer-lasting battery, I bought the family a whole case. Reminds me of the first time we tried Duracell batteries. We were living in Tulsa with your great aunt Emma. <laughs> we shared a one-room apartment. <laughs> Herb, did you slip her one of those other kinds of batteries? Me? Did you slip her? Did you slip her one of those batteries? Did you slip her one of those batteries? Holy shit. <laughs> you can't top. The copper top. Wow. Dark. Dark. <gasps> Flow! 
Boom! Who donated for this? Sam McClellan. Hell yeah. Thanks, uh, Sam McClellan says, thanks for all the fun. I begged my parents for this when I was a kid, but being an adult now, I realize what a fucking mess it would have been to clean up, and I totally understand why they didn't give it to me. Uh, yeah. I think I think we had one carton of phloem in the house as a kid, and my sister l forgot to put the lid back on it, and it dried up into just a styrofoam rock. What's squishy, stretchy, and transforms almost anything? Ah! Foam is fun you can feel. Roll it, mold it, or cover it. That's the way you foam it. Look, now you can turn anything into a fabulous foam creation. Transform this wooden fossil into a fierce foam T-Rex. Turn this ordinary toy car into a foaming fast dragster. Or change this plain dollhouse into a foam-tastic mansion. Foam sticks to almost anything. And when you're done, squish it back and start all over or let it harden and keep it forever. Look, clay is messy and hard to start, but foam turns fun into a work of art. Check it out. Tiny foam microbeads magically stick together and form to any shape you want. Now craft fancy foam to wear. Model creepy foam critters. Or build an erupting volcano of foam. Plus, mix and match <laughs> colors for any design you can imagine. Create a stylish jewelry case or a funky foam base. Foam your pencils so they're cool. Or shut them your your pencils. Cool. Make costume masks, even foam rainbow glass. Take foam outside and the fun will go on. Foam your bike, a scooter, a skateboard, your shoes. With foam in your hands, the fun never stops. Just ask anyone who foams, from parents to tots. You get the complete foam molding and modeling kit that includes one large tub of red. The phrase, ask anybody who floams, is very weird. That feels like it should be a code word in a bathhouse. <laughs> Just like leaning over to someone in the sauna being like, hey, man, do you floam? And like the guy just gives you a silent nod and you go into the back room. One of blue and one of yellow. All three fun fluorescent colors plus the Floam model making guide for just $19.95. And that's not all. Make the Floam call right now. And as a special. Make the Floam call. Make the Floam call. Jesus Christ. Bonus, we'll add a large tub of green to your order free. But hold on. For a limited time, when you order from TV, you'll get double-sized tubs of... Oh, double the Floam tubs. Double the Floam means double the fun for the same low price. And for even more Floam adventures, ask the operator about our Jumbo Family Fun Pack. Floam, it's fun you... Jana, you say you want to Floam your phone case, but your pockets would just get full of, like, crumbly styrofoam. Phone bullshit every time you took your phone out. Must be 18 or older. My friend got this and said it stunk to high heavens. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Genghis John says, do you floam? Oh, yeah, I made the floam call. Janice says, you're not my dad. You're correct. You're correct. I am merely the puppet daddy who stepped up. Uh, Torgo donated uh, for this 1980 Jack in the Box commercial and uh, gave it the tagline, A Clown Explodes. Spoiler alert. What are you doing to the Jack in the Box clown? He's going bye-bye, lady. But he's so cute. Cute was the old Jack in the Box restaurants. Now we stand for great new food. Like I knew Chicken Supreme. Oh, Juicy that looks... White meat chicken too. That looks so nasty. Are you kidding me? Look at that cylindrical puck of like protein foam. Oh, this looks so bad. Oh, is this is like before they learned how to really lie in fast food commercials and do all the fucking photography tricks and fake food. That looks so sad. That looks like underfunded school lunch ass lunch. Kinds of cheese on a toasted whole wheat bun. The food is better at the box. The food is better at the box. Waste them. Food is better at the box. Jack in the box. Wow. Wow. Uh, this one's from Sote86 and says, Classic summer vacation commercial, 1996. Okay. All right. Ah, ah. It's the and for what I'm paying for four days, I couldn't go anywhere and have this much fun. Buy one ride session pass or one combination ride and water park pass or one night's camping and get the second one free with coupons now on two liter bottles of classic and Diet Coke. Ride three great Whoa. water slides and the longest action river in the U.S. Can't beat it. Indiana Beach on beautiful Lake Shaper, Monticello, Indiana, proving once again. 
again, there is more than corn in Indiana. Diet Coke. Ride three what? great coaster. What is that roller coaster? This looks so rad. There's like no safety bars in that. They just fucking tell you to hold on. Flesh wife, my parents refuse to take us. Ah, ah, flesh wife, flesh wife. I th I think we're booking. I think we're driving to Indiana. I think we're going. I think we're going. You will learn that there is more than corn. That's. Oh man. Oh man. More than corn in Indiana. Sote, thank you for that. It's not there anymore. What? No, no. I wanted to ride the clearly unsafe roller coaster. Like my, 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 my safety poisoned brain inherently knew that there was something forbidden about the way that ride was laid out. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, Modern Bard donated and said, uh, hmm. Okay. I, uh, this, my, the, hmm. 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 Uh, media shares being weird. I'm putting it in the browser. Boop. Sote, are you lying? Are you lying about a decapitated grandma? Because I can't tell. I can't. The history of American theme parks are that morbid. That, like, you could be telling the truth and I wouldn't know. Oh, Slutty Change says it's wrong, it's still open. But is the danger coaster still there? That's what I want to know. Neat. Next up is another Jack in the Box ad from our good friend Torgo. Hello, I'm Jack, founder of Jack in the Box. Perhaps you remember when I was fired. <laughs> I do. That setback, I vow to one day regain my rightful place as head of Jack in the Box. Today, thanks to the miracle of plastic surgery, I'm back. And ready to make Jack in the Box better than ever. A lot of explosions. A lot of explosions in this in this Jack in the Box cannon. Electronic karate fighters. Did someone share this ad before? I this feels familiar. I this this feels like a toy I would have like pissed and shat on the floor of a Toys R Us for my parents to buy. And they like held firm. Single channel audio. Get your hands on the sound of a real martial arts action. Armed with weapons and sound. <laughs> the way they scream. The way they scream when they die. Headstone versus Samurai Ninja. Cyber Fist versus Tiger Ninja. All with the sound of a real martial arts action. Now, victory! Each set comes with two fighters and weapons. Electronic Karate Tournament Masters. I mean, the use of weapons already uh, kind of betrays the idea that these are karate practitioners, but I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. They pushed those hard on WWF TV back in the day. Maybe that's what I remember it from. Hmm. Oh, shit. We're back with some uh, more Arnold Schwarzenegger energy drink ads. Hell yeah. Thank you, Mr. Sketches. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Enjoy 
るぞ Holy sh- what the fuck? What is that CGI Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hell yes. Those G.I. Joe-ass uh, Street Fighter dolls? Who donated for this? Oh, hell yeah, Torgo. Bless you. Bless you for this. It's the most lethal G.I. Joe team yet. Capcom Street Fighter 2. No way! Wait. There's Kyle, Ryu, Sangi, Walker, yeah. and Dalcine. What's a Dalsam? Oh. This fucking rock guitar version of the Street Fighter theme, is it rules. I want this on MP3. Some with real ninja moves! Hey! My Cobra's got Street Fighters too! Vega, Sagat, Balrog! And me, Airbison! They look unbeatable! God! You know them, you love them! So Corrupto! Have come Street Fighter 2 figures each sold separately! Oh, I like them! Wow. Wow. Uh. Oh, 56th Mouse! Oh, 56th Mouse! R.I.P. Mikhail Gorbachev, immortalized, immortalized in his tie-ins with the Pizza Hut Corporation. 56 Mouse donated for this and says, not only did Gorbachev tear down the wall, he brought stuffed crust to the people. Uh, Nasvidanya, comrade. Это Горбачев. Горбачев. Это из-за него у нас в экономике бардак. Да благодаря ему у нас новые возможности. Это из-за него у нас политическая нестабильность. Да благодаря ему у нас свобода. Полный хаос. Перспективы. Политическая нестабильность. Да благодаря ему у нас есть писахат. Jesus. Sometimes nothing brings people together like a nice hot pizza from Pizza Hut. Well, that was a weird piece of propaganda. <laughs> Remember, folks, you're not immune to it. Uh... I uh, just want to acknowledge Demon Whiskey Nick, who dropped a uh, tip for $3.69. Nice. Thank you. Uh, he said, oh, my God, Demon Slayer rules so hard and never ceases to make me weep so deeply. Just finished the movie. Endless love. Love your movies episode. House choice. Play a weird commercial if you have time. Hell yourself. Ah, ah, thank you, Demon Whiskey Nick. Demon Whiskey Nick, you're a, you're a good egg. I appreciate it. Maybe if there's time at the end of the stream... I'll do a, I'll do a little puppet's choice for the commercial. Uh, this uh, for this last one on the block, we're playing. Uh, ooh, a, no, a to- I love it when Torgo busts these out. A weird forgotten board game. A weird forgotten board game. This one's called Bargain Hunter. Where are the Davidsons? They're at home looking for bargains. That's Bobby with a stove, radio, and toaster. And Jane has a dresser, clock, and a dog. It's the exciting game called Bargain Hunter. Makes us really hunt out bargains. Handle money. And gives us each a credit card, too. And a credit card machine. To run it. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I hate this. This is the, uh, the worst. I, th- somebody took like the drudgery of Monopoly and was like, I can do better. You thought that was capitalist bleakness? Check this out. An entire game about trying not to get fucked over on a wardrobe. 
Run it through. First to furnish their apartment and be out of debt wins bargain. The first to furnish your apartment and get out of debt wins. What the? Yeah, <laughs> mixing. It's Monopoly for poor people. It's Monopoly for poor people. What the fuck? And that's me. Bargain Hunter, the bargains game from Milton Bradley. Oh, who thought that would be fun? That is the least fun concept for a board game I've ever heard. That's a game you play with your family if you hate your kids. That's, yeah, yeah, that's not a game. That's just like the drudgery of adulthood. Oh, wow. Wow, Zow. That, yeah. Ah, there's only one thing that can cure that doldrum, and that is to bring on the most intense and extreme hero team that the 90s has ever witnessed. It's time for Ultra Force, as presented on the Tubi Network. Thanks, Tubi. <laughs> Let's for... They have not tried to, like, they, th there was that one episode where they tried to make Let's Force It a thing, and then they dropped it immediately. Let's Force It is not the it's clobbering time of the new generation that they thought it would be. Available in wider screen. Goo Boy. Ponytail Man. Italian Iron Man. Lady. Sarcastic Zombu. And Chairwoman. Together, they unite to fight things. Modern Bard, I don't think we're getting more Nightman. I think we only got that one taste of Nightman. Oh. Oh, Omenizunia, you noticed the pump. Oh, no. I recognize that dumb gem thingy. Oh, those teenagers are so dead. I've never seen two more sacrificial teenagers in the history of Western media. Hold on. Let's just take a moment. Oh my God. There's... Ha ha, I love rock music and being alive. You sure do, babe. Babe, I love being alive and not being a cautionary tale to establish the villain of the episode. We're just two freewheeling spirits that love driving through the desert. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What was that? Oh, no. Let's go check it out. Yeah, definitely check it out. Uh-huh. Investigate. Hey, be right back. He won't be. He will be dead. Hey, check this out. Cool. It's an object of dread. Gonna touch it. I wonder if it's worth something. I can't wait to sell it for Zooks. Come on, Jack. I gotta go to the drugs and fucking party. We're gonna be late. If they finish all the drugs early, the fucking isn't gonna be as good. I'm a delinquent teenager. Enough already. Let's get going. 
Called it. Called it. Rune lives once more. Thanks to a lone rune stone that summoned me back to this world. Soon, I will seek out your brothers, scattered as they are throughout this pathetic little planet. But first, I must feed and replenish my strength. Only your bioenergy can restore my dark might. Oh, he needs to absorb the boy's goo energy. Okay, you know what it's like when an undead, when an elderly figure emerges from the dust and immediately has to suck the energy out of a young boy? We all, we get it. We, we've all been there, folks. How am I to be future in a weakened state? Don't get me wrong, Kevin. I'm really glad we can spend some quality time together. Especially with your father away on his business trip. But I just don't think horror movies are so good for you. <gasps> Out of the car! Now! You two! Move! Just do what he says, Kevin. No! My Yu-Gi-Oh cards were in there! Just gotta find somewhere to turn into Prime! Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> like, like Home Alone. I was reminded of Home Alone. I don't have any further insight. I don't have any jokes or anything to add. I'm just like, yeah, like in Home Alone. A, a woman, a white woman is screaming the name Kevin. That's it. That's the joke. It's not a joke. It's just two things. It's just two things. Run away from me. Not now. Don't cry, Mom. It's just a car. <laughs> you sure you're okay? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the animation mistakes. The animation mistakes in this show. We're like, okay, and then we, we zoom out. We zoom out. But that requires two distinct camera passes. So they're just shrinking. So they're just shrinking into no. nothingness. <laughs> Don't cry, Mom. It's just a car. <laughs> you sure you're okay? It's just a car. You sure you're okay? Spirit is bound in an all too. My love, can I get like just one little bit more tequila? Just like a little, just just a little shbooby boop, just a little slishy slash, just a little gwibble guap. You know, just gorp some some of that good good slop on me. Just a little tinkle tankle of that good good feel good liquid. Oh no, come on, babe, babe, ah, oh, babe, babe. Look, look, this guy agrees. He's like, yes. Yes, give your husband more tequila. He deserves it. He's a very, he's been having a long day. And he, he, should, he should drink more. <laughs> well, you got to believe me. Look at how detailed my shading is. Come on. Come on. It's, it's fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Just give him a little goopy gorp of that glob gop he, he, the, the stream will be funnier if he's got a little spooshy spash in his gim gap. I think she's pouring me a glass of water instead. <laughs> and I just froze up. I couldn't turn into prime or anything. Like I Oh my god. Oh my god. He's talking to his fucking superhero stepdaddy about his fucking goo dysfunction, his performance anxiety. Oh my God. <laughs> I just, you know, I really needed to goo out, but I just was scared and I thought that people would laugh at me. I'm the most powerful ultra on the planet and I can't even protect my own mom from a couple of lousy carjackers. You did the right thing staying with your mom. Believe me, she needed you a lot more than she needed Prime. 
Kevin? Don't tie up the phone, okay? I'm waiting to hear from the police. Okay, Mom. Almost through. Huh? What fuckery is this? What? It's Lord Pumpkin! I won't let her down again! Kevin, are you alright? Kevin, you're sounding very gooey. They, re they recycled this shot from a previous episode. God. So much... Kevin? So much grunting, you know what I mean? Just, it's, it, it, okay, if if it was just the goo, I'd be like, ah, a clever reference to the, uh, the, the, the horror of puberty. But that he has to just stand there and grunt the whole time. Prime? This doesn't sound good. It's time to prime the pump. <laughs> oh. Oh, that line. Oh, that line. It's time to prime the pump. Oh, that's not even... Like, I understand he is prime and the villain is the pump. But that's like... It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like, it's it's not... It's, it's, it's not a threat. It's not... Like, it doesn't suggest violence. <laughs> it's just... It's just it's just his name and the villain's name, and it also happens to coincide with a phrase. Don't worry, Bob. Uh, Ma'am, you're safe now. Get away from me! What did you do to my house? <laughs> you're mine, Orange Boy! Right, Pulper Brains, I'm gonna pound you into pumpkin pie! <laughs> what? <laughs> Where'd you go? What? The uh, Lord Pumpkin, well known for his uh, funny dances. Done with my son. I swear, if you hurt him. Uh oh. Mom's having a fit. I better act fast before things get out of hand. I hate to break this to you, things are very out of hand. <laughs> This is the first time we've had to see him hose it's down. Okay, Mom. I'm out here. Where were you? What happened to you? Sorry. I fell into the pool when Prime crashed into the yard. I never want to hear another word about Prime or any of those other Ultras. Do you hear me? Sure, Mom. Whatever. Whatever, Mom. You don't get it. Hurry up and get rid of that. Ooh. It's this bit of goo napping. No sign of Lord Pumpkin. Oh, I just hope I'm not too late. Yes, this is Ruth Green at 3319 Sycamore. I've just been harassed by an ultra. What? Mom? A man? Hamana, hamana! So. Yeah, 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 what? She's okay, kid. She just fainted. You always shower with your clothes on? Man, what a weird morning. First Lord Pumpkin shows up on my lawn, then he vanishes into thin air, then my prime goop disappears. <laughs> God! It's, you know, I, there's been a carjacking and a supervillain and my goo disappeared. Listen, son, listen. There comes a time in every man's life when you gotta, you gotta come to terms with the fact that, you know, when you leave your goo somewhere, you, you just, you, it's, it's already gone. You, you gotta forget about it. Probably still shook up from that carjacking. But, but, but I'm telling you. Take my advice. Get some rest. <laughs> Get some Nap it off. Oh no. Oh no. Now how does that make you feel? No, not on my watch. We don't watch the actual commercials. We watch our commercials. Nice try. Nice try.
just a, just, what's uh, it's like what is it one or two we'll just watch one or two ads and then it'll be over oh no modern bard what is this what the fuck is this if you get in an accident <laughs> Your car or truck got hit. Just do it. Do no. It. Do it. Do it. Call us now. Don't be lame. Call us now. This is one one pain. Right now. This is amazing. One eight hundred for one one pain. My neck. <laughs> my, my car just got smacked. My, my, my windshield just got cracked. Home from home, hospital, or accident scene. What? Remember. Of my neck, my back parody. My neck, my back. My car just got smacked. Oh my god. My back. My windshield just got cracked. One eight hundred four one one pain is a lawyer referral service. Incredible, unbelievable, literally beyond comprehension. Ooh, ooh! Another Taco Bell commercial. Hell yeah, I am down with this. I am about this. 1976 with a young Patrick Duffy. Yes, sir. Uh, give me a taco. Single channel. Make that two tacos. Two tacos. Ooh, this time in the right ear. That's a burrito supreme, sour cream, fresh lettuce and tomatoes. Ooh, I'll have one of those instead. Burrito supreme. W what's that? Oh, that's a tostada. I have one of those too. Okay. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh, that is an enchirito. That's got pinto beans, cheese on the top. On second thought, uh, what was I ordered first? Uh, 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 yeah, the Come to Taco 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 Bell. Incredible. And uh, Sir Redwall donated for a vintage rice aroni commercial. What? What made you? There's got to be something more to this. What horrors lie behind this seemingly innocuous side dish facade? San Francisco, famous for food, comes rice a -roni, the exciting new side dish. Here at last is a welcome change, a change from potatoes. Now you can serve rice a -roni, a delicious side dish with meat, chicken, or fish. And you make rice a -roni in minutes. Everything's right in the box. A packet of soup base, rice, and vermicelli that you brown in butter. Add the special herb-flavored broth, and in minutes, rice a -roni, fluffy, fragrant. A wonderful thing. I would, I'd rather have the potato, not gonna lie. I've never eaten, I have never eaten rice a -roni. I have never eaten Zatarans. I have, I don't think, I'd, 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 I maybe have eaten stovetop stuffing. All of the great boxed side dishes of American history I have actually been lacking in. But the uh, commercials on Tubi have stopped, so we're going right back to the thrilling conclusion of Ultra Force. Is rice a really that good? I what I saw. Now mom's afraid to leave the house. And Never had ham, I've had tuna helper. Find a place to prime up. <laughs> God. God. Don't you hate it? Don't you hate it when you got a really strong need to prime up, but you don't have a little hidey hole to do it in? <laughs> oh, oh, really, TV's Brent? Do you think this is a masturbation allegory? Is that what? Huh, I never thought of it that way. You're actually making a really good point. You're me. I know. Yeah. Now that I think about it, you know what? Given a lot of the context clues and with a unique perspective, now that I'm laying it all out, I think you might be onto something with this whole 
turning into a superhero jerk-off analogy. <laughs> Why is everybody dressed identical? <laughs> oh no, we were just having a fun time at the blue, yellow, and green t-shirt convention, and now Prime's ruining it. Someone help. Oh man, they're everywhere! <laughs> Let's see how funny you think this is! No, the Pier 1 imports! We break for this important news bulletin. Hey, wait a minute. What's that? I'm Sky coming to you live at a Canoga Park shopping mall. Canoga Park? Known as Prime has been on a rampage. Here we go again. We're gonna try and swing around now to get you a better shot. There he is! This, this is true! Let's force it! <laughs> oh shit, he said the line! He said the thing! He said the thing! We're gonna swing around now to get you a better shot. There he is! This, this is true! Let's force it! Let's force it, dear God. They, they, oh my God. <laughs> Thought you could mess with Prime, didn't you, Lither Crap? Set it down, Primate. Nice and easy. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Lifting a helicopter? Okay. Easy Prime. Why don't you just tell me what's going on here? You! Wow. For running interference, big guy. Anytime. I don't know who you are, but you just made Prime mad. Oh, you don't want to do that. So it's you. Who the fuck is that? Enjoy this. All right, steroid brain. Now that we got your attention. No, I'm starting to deep <laughs> Wait, Get back here! I hate it. I hate when I'm in the middle of a fight and I start to deep prime all over myself. Proto, over here. We still got people trapped inside that park construction. I'll handle prime. Damn it, that parking garage had three more months till retirement. Not now. Too many villains to fight. Oh! Oh! Dr. Rose! No! Leave me alone! You're seeing things, kid. But how did. You were just. But what about Enemy and Adelon? And the fire people, they're all... In your head. Someone or something must be making you hallucinate. Then let me at him. I just gotta prime up and... No, as long as you can't trust your eyes, we can't trust you. Look at the damage Prime did. This kind of stuff sets back all Ultras. I just want a Prime to be a hero. Now he's a bigger threat than any Ultra villain. Come on, kid. Let's take you home. I swear, I'll never turn into Prime ever again! Well, at least not till we figure out who's booking you on these head trips. 
who's booking you on these head trips, Jesus. At last! <laughs> Sustenance! Are they- Oh, uh, he's just gonna pick the goo up off the floor. He's just gonna eat the dirty goo off the dirt. That's so goddamn nasty. Oh, 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 it's so gross. Stronger. The prime essence courses through my veins. Still, this is but a mere morsel. Am I ready to take on the full banquet? The mighty prime himself? That's the last of them. Now, to find Prime. I thought I saw Hard Case heading this way. Not wrong, Papango. Wow! No! Defeating you will provide an excellent gauge of my strength. Ooh. Sorry, pal. I ain't that kind of prototype. You're still flesh and blood under that armor. Too bad you'll never get to poke your fangs through my saddle suit. Who said anything about fangs? Ah, this is nothing but fusion power. I require bioenergy. My plasma blasters! All right, fat white. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> what is with the twirling school of fight choreography this episode? Why, why is there so much twirling this week? Mortal. Worse still, you delay me from my feast. Your life force is about to become mine. Oh, that was terrible. That was a terrible shot. God, remember how good Galaxy this Rangers was animated? Great. Now everyone's gonna be afraid of Ultras, and it's all my fault. Why'd I ever have to be Prime in the first place? You've got uh -huh. to protect me, Kevin. You're my only hope. What? <laughs> protect me from the violent urban youths. Help me, Kevin! Help me! I won't do it. I won't turn into Prime! I think, I, I think I've seen we'll this help. video on the internet. We'll all help. We'll all help. Destroy you. What the fuck? I don't believe you. You're not real. I won't turn into prime. Ah, uh, proto to hard case. Get that kid some orange slices. He is tripping too hard. Rune's back, and he's drained most of my energy. Rune, of course. The hallucinations, the missing prime goo, it all makes sense. What do you mean? If Rune is strong enough to take you out, then Prime's in real danger. Meet me at 3319 Sycamore, and hurry! The missing prime goo, yeah. You're not real. You're not real! Kevin, are you alright? Just having a nightmare, Mom. I I'm fine now. My poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mom! It can't hurt you! It's not ah! real! Not this time, child. Ah! Ah! Wait a minute! If she sees Rune, then it must be real! And only Prime can save her! Wait, kid! Don't do it! It's just what he wants! To feed on your Prime energy! Listen, I know everything inside of you is telling you you gotta goo! But it's not always the answer. Sometimes you gotta maintain your vital goo energy in order to get the things you need from this life. All right? You wanna save your mom? It hurts your mom when you goo like that, okay? If you want your mom to be happy, stop gooing. This is a normal conversation between an adult man and a child, and I don't want anybody to send a letter to the network. Prime. Then you need Prime more than ever. Don't you get it, kid? He's strong enough now to suck the life out of Prime in his Prime. That's why you've got to stay here. Me and Frodo will handle Rune. No coup November. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this 
ladies scream like they better have paid her well for this she is screaming her t fucking lungs out this episode First woman you are merely the bait not the catch well i'm the game warden and you've just caught your limit let go of the lady otherwise we all crash fool you merely wet my appetite oh. I'll be all right. Just get them for me, will ya? Enough of these distractions. Where is pride? That's for messing with my friend. And this is for messing with... Us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. His ability to immediately defeat me. I forgot. I have uh, made no alterations to my uh, attack techniques or tactics. I have literally, I just did the same thing that got my ass handed to me before. Aw, oh, dang. Aw, oh, jeez. Uh, me. Just the actual Peter Griffin if collapse pose. To me, then I will come to Prime. Put her down. It's me you want. I want Prime, not some weak, pathetic child. Prime's not coming. <laughs> Phrasing. Phrasing. It's all coming together. Ah, I did it. I did it too. I'll take this one I force instead. You're helpless to save her, boy. Just like the car, Jackie. But try. How does he know about the car, Jack? Only he can save your mother. Only Prime. Only <laughs> Sweatshirt. Oh, I want to goo so bad. <laughs> Kick him in the nards. That bravery, child. Kick him in his werewolf nards. Perhaps you need more motivation to summon pride. I'm through playing with you, boy. I want pride, and I want him now. <laughs> God, God, why is this so fucking fraught? Why is this the most sexually fraught thing I've ever witnessed? Like, I would feel more comfortable watching actual pornography with this entire chat than what we are watching right now. This is some sweaty ass fucking storytelling. Oh. No! Finally, you know that must have felt amazing. Kind of Bioenergy has arrived. <laughs> Aren't you gonna have a little trouble defeating me without this? Oh, he got your fucking goober rock. Kevin grabbed your little rock when you weren't looking. Not bad for a weak, pathetic child. <laughs> Like Satan falling to earth. The morning star has fallen. It's J.O. Crystal. God damn it. God damn it, TV's brand. How is that the first J.O. Crystal reference of the episode? I feel like chat is always ready to go with a J.O. Crystal reference. And you've let and it took this long. It took this long to happen. Holy shit. Holy shit. Believe that's the last of it. You did it, Prime. You saved your mom. No. Kevin did it. What I don't get is how you knew to come to this house. Prime told me this was the first place he started having those hallucinations. So I figured Rune had to be based here. Yeah, right. You see, this Kevin kid, he, uh, he found the red runestone on a field trip in the desert and, uh, that obviously lured Rune to his house. No need to get excited, big guy. I was just curious. Race you back to Malibu. Thanks for covering for Okay, Torgo. Don't mention it. I just, I must have missed the earlier crystal uh, reference. There. Good as new. 
I don't know how to thank you two. Think nothing of it, man. I just wish my son could be here to see this. Sorry we can't stay. We've got a shopping mall. Sorry. Maybe ultras aren't so bad after all. Oh, now they mastered the camera pan. God damn. God damn. They were having a blast writing that episode. They knew exactly what they were doing and they were lapping their asses off all the way to the bank. God damn. We're actually running low on, we're like reaching the end of Ultra Force. There's only two episodes left. I gotta find a, figure out a way to do a proper send off because this show has been a gift. So many memories. From the Nightman to Zooks to uh, Lord Pump to the indigenous fire people who actually had a very good point and probably should have been the <laughs> rightful winners of the conflict. But that was that was Ultra Force Episode 11, Primal Scream. The episode was called Primal Scream, which again really lays into the idea that the writers understood exactly what they were talking about. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll give maybe I'll give the Wildcats show another try. Maybe I'll see if I can get away with the Wildcats show cuz that was like basically the same thing. Just like not quite X-Men. Ah, I remember that meme. That was a good meme. <laughs> and Jennifer already already preserved this gift Jana, Jana. i'm sorry i'm sorry Jana. i didn't mean to do that um thank you for the gift thank you for the gift Jana. um <laughs> it's so dumb look at them go they shrink for so long they shrink for so long oh it's beautiful it's beautiful thank you for that uh the only thing left to do is uh clear out the last couple of commercials we have on the lineup Let's hope Sweet Mama Media Share doesn't let us down. We got a uh, we got a nice little chunk. We got a nice little chunk of uh, of commercials. If you are feeling so just insane in the membrane that you want to add to the queue, all you got to do is hit the donate link and suggest in the media share your YouTube link. But until the until if you unless that happens, uh, we just got a couple more to go through, and we're gonna call it a night. Let's see what's first on the, oh, a PG tips ad. Uh, Professor Pig says, for about 50 years, we used chimps to advertise tea here in England. I don't know why. Oh, I'll be glad to get home. Cheer up, Dad. At least you had a nice break. Very funny. Mind the door, Sam. Get the door. The door! Kevin, coming. Oh, I can't look. Oh, this is not mine. Oh, is that a trolley? Oh, yeah, careful. Oh, what? Um, anything to declare, sir? Huh? Yeah, I need my pyramid! Only Brook Bond have the unique pyramid bag that gives the leaves room to infuse, releasing all the great PG taste Jeff needs to get him back on his feet. <sighs> At last. Mmm. Mm. I say, Jeff, looks like you've been on the piece. Now, you know I only ever drink PG. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. There was a whole video essay about the tea chimps? I kind of want to watch that now. Oh, no, modern bard. My friend's mother insisted I send this one in. How? Whenever anybody mentions, like, friends or family members, I it, it makes me imagine that people are talking to other human beings about this stream, and it feels weird. Like, in, in my brain... Like, chat is just this beautiful room of secretive weirdos that gather in this, like, hidden place. And the very idea that, like, in the real world, you're talking to people and be like, oh, yeah, 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 he's a middle-aged man, he pretends to be a puppet character, and we watch cartoons and commercials from the 80s together. It's a great time. I guess it doesn't sound that weird when you say it out loud. I don't know. I, it, it's... The Cartoon Dumpster is just this, like, micro-universe I enter every week. It, like, it just, it, it feels like a, 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 some kind of soul-cleansing machine 
and it just poops me out on the other side. Hellershank says, my whole family watches you. We just turned another friend onto you the other night. What? A fa God, that's, I, cur I, how many J.O. jokes can an entire family sit through? I told my brother about the stream because the Fall Guys pretty much had that exact reaction. Weird. Torgo says, I commandeer the living room every Thursday. Wow. Hi, Torgo's uh, family slash roommates slash friends. Hi, I'm on a TV. Hold on, wait. This is my favorite thing to do. Hi. Hi, look at me. I'm on, I'm on your TV right now. I'm in your house. I'm in your house right now. I'm not on somebody's phone in the shower. I'm not on your laptop screen in your, screen in your dorm room. I am in your house. I am in Torgo's house right now. Hi. Hi. I'm in, I mean, I'm only in 720p, but I'm on a, I'm on a 4K TV. Uh, my daughter is turning 17 and she lives for the J.O. jokes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm glad you've already had that talk. <laughs> anyway, modern bard, uh, modern, modern bard's friend's mom insisted that we watch Wild at Gatorland from 2007. Take a walk on the wild side. Who is this? Wait, wait. Who is this knockoff Kermit the Frog? Wild at Gatorland. Take a walk on the wild side. It's such a thrill when they open wide. Someday you'll find it. The gator attraction. The train rides, the t-shirts, and me. And all the fun you gotta understand. Well, you belong at Gatorland. He won't be just a spectator. Sit on the back of a real alligator. Take a walk on the wild side. It's wild at Gatorland. Uh -huh. That was amazing. That was incredible. Uh, this is a Budweiser ad for Bud Light. Modern Bard says, this ad never made it to air officially, but I love it dearly. Or should I say, beerly. Never made it. Funny. I don't know. We'll use it to buy something for the office, like a case of Bud Light or something. Fucking awesome. F you, Bob. Ha, f you, Jim. Eric, I have a bag on line three for you. Can I borrow your pen? Can I borrow your f***ing pen? Will the owner of a white station wagon please go f*** yourself? We're going to go down there, and we're going to f*** some f We're going to f*** some f We're going to do whatever we have to, because we're going to f*** some f Poop. Doesn't count. Shut the <laughs> I'm so proud of you mother <laughs> suckers. Here, here. <laughs> Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always <laughs> worth it. That was. Okay, I can see why that never made it to air, but that is. That was. I'd love a bleep. I genuinely love a bleep. There is like nine times out of ten. A bleep is funnier than the actual swear. Next up is uh, another modern bard. Oh, it's a Gordy. Lock and load, people. Get your eyeballs fresh and clean to behold Gordy Dodd once again. For furniture, chop with the confidence at Dodds because we want to be understood. Contemporary or classic, choose from world famous Van Gogh designs. Now proudly made in BC. These couches are fu. Look how ugly these. These are the ugliest fucking couches I've ever seen in my goddamn shitting life. Holy, look at these atrocities. The I feel like my ass skin would like hurt from the ugliness. Like like on a like the like my skin cells would be able to detect the terrible patterns. Woods. Select the fabric and style to match your lifestyle. An excellent. Look at that! Look at that piece of crap! Ugh! Oh, it would ruin your whole house. Investment in quality. Van Gogh Designs at Dodds Furniture. Selection, prices, quality, guarantee. Why go anywhere else? See you here, Pilgrim. 
you're right, Flesh Wife. You're right. I, I flew off the handle there. Taste is subjective. If those uh, garish couches bring you joy, then who am I to tell you otherwise? It is your home. It is your space. And if that is how you wish to perceive the world around you, then more power to you. Get your ass to Gordy Dodd's furniture and mattress and buy those um, upsettingly colored objects. Uh, this is from Professor Pig and says, I don't know if conkers is a thing in America, but during the 90s, we had extreme conkers in the UK. Do I know what conkers are? Are those like a clicky clacks, like those balls on a string? Is it like a clacker? We'll find out. The ad's now loaded. Conkers. Load up the power shield and be prepared when you go into head-to-head -head combat. Battle Conkers. Yeah, yeah, it's like the thing from JoJo Part 2. Uh, this one's from Omen Izunia, who says SpongeBob. Okay. Oh, no. I think I remember this. I like square butts, and I cannot lie. Squid and sea star can't deny. When a sponge walks in four corners and it's book implants the crowd shouts all the ladies stare Dang, those pants are square swing into the sea we tangle is a butt with short right angles now spongebob i want to get with ya because you're making me rich ya i know why do we keep it grungy because everybody knows that he's so spongy oh rump of sponge skin you dance with your hips don't bend so groove it and move it if you got caboose then it sounds like they actually paid sir mix a lot to do this Am I getting copyright tagged on this? Don't trip. No, I think I'm okay. Yeah, baby. When it comes to sea life, curves ain't got nothing to do with Bob selection. Two by two by two square trousers working that black belt looking like dotted lines. This is like a whole ass thing. A word to the deep sea sponges that want to get wet. It's still going. Gotta be straight when I say you gotta scrub till the break of dawn. Fleshwife confirms they did get Sir Mix a lot to do this. You can draw his body on paper. His waistline really don't taper. Your girlfriend wants to squeeze him. Wanna push his pores and tease him. But SpongeBob ain't gonna have too much of that squeezing. You other sponges don't want none unless you rock square buns. To the new sponges It's still going. Holy shit. Is it gonna come back around? Is the commitment to the joke going to like make it funnier again? All right, all right. Oh, goddamn. God damn. Unfortunately, they did not make Ultra Force Shrinky Dinks, but they did make Rainbow Bright Shrinky Dinks. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm genuine. I like, how are they even going to translate the story of the show in this commercial? I fuck, I loved Shrinky Dinks as a kid. I thought they were like the most fun. I loved drawing as a kid. I loved pieces of little plastic. It was like a combination of my favorite things. And if you like put them in the toaster oven so you could like see through the window, it was like it was magic. It was magic, baby. Ooh, rainbow! Land. The new Shrinky Dinks Rainbow Bright playset by Color Forms. Rainbow Bright. First, color the Rainbow Land characters, cut them out, then into the oven, and they shrink Ooh. like magic. Put them on stands, and you're ready to play in Rainbow Land. Beware. Ricky, Ricky. Yeah. And for more fun, here's the Rainbow Bright Rub and Play transfer set to create your own rainbow. I'm sorry, the what? The what set? I'm sorry, the what? What were we selling to children? 
Here's the Rainbow Bright Rub and Play Transfer Set to create right. your own Rainbow Bright Action Poster. The Shrinky Dinks Rainbow Bright Play Set. Some assembly required. It's color forms fun. And I think this is the last commercial of the night. If it loads correctly. Maybe it, maybe it won't load correctly. I believe in you, Media Share. Come on, Media Share. You can do it. Be a big boy. Don't cry. Oh, no, it's just the Shrinky Dinks commercial again. Is it? Or is it advertising weird? Yeah, it was just the Shrinky Dinks commercial again. Ooh, Rainbow Land. The new Shrinky Dinks Rainbow Bright playset by Color Forms. Rainbow Bright? First, color the Rainbow okay. Land characters. All right, never mind. It was posted twice. Um, hmm. Hmm. I was told, I was told to get a freebie by uh, Demon Whiskey Nick. I wonder, I wonder if I actually, would I be able to find it in time? I don't want to just play the Hyak Pacento Nihon Potato one again. What do I... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, wait, is that... Hmm, if I can find it within the next 20 seconds. No, I don't see it. Hmm. What the f no no, and it's not long, man. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know a commercial I want to end it on. I know what I want to end it on. Here we go. This is this is what I want. The last commercial of the night. Torco had a different link. If we can, Torgo, I'll make it up to you next week if uh, I missed one. And if not, this will be the last thing of the night. Yes! Slay! One time, two time. For all, all my Hyrule kids. So good. So good. Sometimes, like, without without even thinking, I'll just be humming zero, 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 zero. I love it so much. Anyway, this has been another, another smash, smash experience on the Cartoon Dumpster. Uh, I want to thank everybody who donated. I want to thank everybody who uh, super chatted, who subbed, who followed. I want to thank all donators for the raid. I want to thank all the regulars for coming in. I see you, Miss Abby Synth. I see you. I see you coming in and late in the game. Uh, I want to thank all the new people. I want to thank the families of fans that are watching right now. That's insane. You just sat through three and a half hours of oddities and weirdness and my own semi-drunken ramblings about boy goo. Good for you, Jana. Yes. Live, laugh, piss. Uh, I I'll try and figure out what to do for s something special next week. Maybe the anime ap episode and we'll do Japanese commercials. Maybe the Flash animations or new shows. I don't know. This I feel like this was a standard classic lineup of a dumpster. And it was still a lot of fun. But uh, I had a very good time. 
I hope everybody has a really good weekend. I hope everybody goes through this crazy thing called life without being jerks. I hope everybody tries to be nice at every opportunity that they can. And uh, let's see, who's live? Who do I raid? Oh, no, no, no. Who's live? Who's live? Come on. I'll send you. To, ooh. ooh mm, mm, mm. I'll send you to if you want to say hi to Pat Bear. I'll raid Pat Bear. He's a nice, nice nerdy guy, friend to New York comedy, and he builds fantastical robots and Legos and other such things. I'm starting the raid on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, have fun. You know, just uh, show yourself out. Be nice. You know, I already said be nice. I'm a little tipsy. I'm a little tired. Hopefully tomorrow I can ride a roller coaster. That's my goal. But I'll, I'll keep you updated. Follow me on the socials at Puppet Jared on Twitter. At Best Jake Young on Twitter. But, uh, all right. Starting the raid. I'll talk to you guys later. Good night.